Welcome to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> You'll never know what happened just before we went live. Oh Welcome, boy. friends, to our Dungeons and Dragons stream. A much more professional opening this week, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> mm. I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me, we have... Rhiannon. Hey! Chris. Thanks. Kim. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Tom. Hi. And Katie. Hello. Welcome, friends. Willkommen. Yep, yeah. yes, we got it, we got it. Don't worry, Sid's on it. I know, I know. Sid's, Sid's being a particularly ja, ja, good boy ja, this ja, week. Ja, 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 ja. Uh, my Sid's dinner, being sassy this week. My dinner will be arriving at some point soon. I've not eaten, so just keep that in mind. Much more professional start. Much more professional Muck start. Mukbang D&D. Mukbang D&D. Nice. Uh, welcome, friends. We're about ready to kick off with some brand new High Rollers Dungeons & Dragons adventures. Yeah! But first, we need to hear from our sponsors. Of which I need to say nothing this week. We have somebody who's taking over sponsorships. It's Chris Trot. You did prepare <laughs> something for this week, didn't you? Hello, travelers. Oh, God, here we nice. go. I have assumed this vessel with powerful magics from distant <laughs> lands and prepared some paper because this form is very, very bad with memory. <laughs> Hold on. Let me attempt to take control of this body to wave in a friendly and diffusing manner. <laughs> Is Hello. Hello. Fear not, for I bring good tidings. Oh. Our experiments have borne fruit. <laughs> With our new magical apparatus, the Veiled Projection of Non-Detection, <laughs> or VPN for short, <laughs> we can secretly access people and places all over the world, and I'm turning more Russian, I think, as we go. <laughs> Without evil cult groups or such from spying on us. Now, I can give you this powerful ability, but you must be fast. Our entire Nordic land of privacy is being invaded. Oh, Nordic, right. You must understand Nordic. You must understand with my heavy Nordic accent. We hold the key to keeping you and your personal lives safe. Take our NordVPN technology to not only save yourself, but unlock a world of benefits. For example, you can cloak yourself in an illusion to look like someone from another continent. With it, you can access their catalog of entertainment you can't at home like American Netflix. Nice. Or There's so much left! <laughs> evade barriers of withholding from the evil overlords that cut off websites from you. Dare I utter Article 13? <laughs> there you go. It even works on your mobile gadgetry. Whoa! I shouldn't be telling you this. Kim just spilled like all of a drink. All of it. I shouldn't be telling you this. Only our elite leaders have access to such a passphrase, but times are desperate. And you all look like worthy champions to me, so access this password now. I have little time left. I must channel this energy and project it on screen now. Here it comes! Fire oh! <laughs> <laughs> rollers! NordVPN.com slash HRDND! Use the code! Receive 75% off a three year subscription, and then you get an extra month for free. I grow weary. Oh, oh it's heavy. My time is short. Is and this vessel smells horrible. Yeah. The invasion mm. of the land of privacy is too great a threat. Please protect yourself. NordVPN out. There we go. NordVPN. <laughs> I'd like to point out that the top of this says. In a Skyrim style voice. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good attempt. Hello! Um, <laughs> Sparrier here. This, this is this is Mark Humes checking. Thank you for that NordVPN sponsor message, Chris Trot. There we go. For what? And what of our, our other sponsor? What? Display? No. D D no. Beyond! Hey! You know it. We know it. <laughs> we use it all the time. It's amazing. Go get it now. D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> it's free. What is it? What is it? You had one job! It's one a tool job. set to create characters That's digitally. Twitch, isn't it? That's, That's Twitch. Twitch on the side, but it means you can multitask on an iPad 
and read chat, <laughs> telling me how good a job I'm doing at sponsorships. Yeah. I mean, the NordVPN was excellent. I can't fault you for the amazing NordVPN. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> maybe, Thanks, Brian. Maybe next time we'll get both sponsors here. <laughs> maybe. That's all that was pretty good. NordVPN was, was very good. Oh, oh, I apologize to Brian immediately. Yeah. NordVPN, D&D Beyond. NordVPN. Uh, don't forget with D&D Beyond, <coughs> it's got the character builder, the compendium. Yep. You can also manage your campaigns through it. So it's got everything. Doing things yeah. such as leveling up, which we've all done, by the way. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll mention up. it again. Everyone's level six. What? Um, so <laughs> don't test me. Don't test me today. <laughs> I'm having a day, and if you test me, you shall suffer my content. Team wipe. Damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, with that, I think that that is. We got merch. Um, Patreon. Patreon. Yes. That's oh, the next yeah. one to talk about. So we'll quickly talk about merch. Um, the Ayla, the t shirt, the barbarian shirts are now gone, right? He's gone. Dead. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, it's gone. But it's thank gone. you very much to everyone who bought them and sent pictures on Twitter and stuff. And it's great. Thank you. It's great. But don't forget, if you go to store.yorkscast.com, we've still got loads of other merch on there. Yeah. You can buy that. Use code HIGHROLLERS. Also, I believe if you are a Yogcon attendee, you can buy... Not talking about that yet! Uh, okay. Never mind! Never mind. I thought that was this week, I'm wrong! No. Um, <laughs> but you can buy normal merch from store.yogscast.com <laughs> using code high rollers and get 10% off! Got phone cases and bags and t-shirts. And more. And I dice. Yep. Might have more. That's yeah. it. Uh, Tommy, yes. Hazel, why don't you tell the p good people about Patreons? We now have a brand new Patreon which, with which you can support High Rollers and actively make it much, much better. That means we'll have... You should use a safe NordVPN to access Patreon. I don't know if you should because then it might get rid of your login, but that's fine. If you go into patreon.com slash High Rollers, uh, you can support High Rollers, make it a million times better, and get rewarded for it as well with... At, what kind of things? Yet, you can get a special Discord role in uh, the High Rollers Discord. You get Thursday's episode of the podcast on Mondays. Um, and it's a pretty good one. So we also double the podcast fun on Mondays. Double the podcast fun on Mondays. And also, we're going to be adding a lot, lot more, more stuff uh, as well that we're just going to post yeah. to you. Ad hoc. Uh, so patreon.com slash High Rollers. Support us on there. It's great. You get loads of good stuff. And, and you're supporting support. us. Which and is also, I will uh, say a thank you at the end of the episode as well to everyone as well. As well. Patreon as well. There we go. Great. Thank you. Patreon. As well. Thank you. As well. As well. <laughs> great stuff. d, &D Beyond. Is there anything else? <laughs> there he is. Bottom, uh, ah! Is there anything else? Bottom, bottom right. Um, I'm already done, Mark. I'm done too. I'm done. I don't think there's anything else to say. No. Decent? No. You can't. Yeah. You're locked here. Let's play the Eros video! Whee! Here we go! Cut back to them while they're talking about High Rollers D, but here we go! <laughs> hey! Hey! Welcome back to Erois. <laughs> A brief recap on what has happened last time. Our party of adventurers, still unnamed, uh, have yeah. made their way to a place called the Midwife's Forge. Having trekked through the Stormwall Mountains, the party have encountered numerous uh, dangers en route and began to discover small mysteries about the strange growing storms that erupt from the valley beyond. Having encountered, crossed a river, <laughs> sorry, oh, yeah. having crossed a river, uh, a eventually. River. Having encountered. <laughs> it, pretty much <laughs> was, it pretty much was an encounter that with a river. That river was OP. Mother that nature. Wasn't, I got across <laughs> immediately. Having <laughs> passed like... that, the party encountered a strange creature within a rocky valley which nearly caused disaster 
for a one period <laughs> Fire Ganassi that had temporarily well. joined forces with mm. the team. Uh, by passing that, you made your way into a forest of sorts, of crystal pillars, where clever use of tactics and Araya's knowledge of monsters helped to avoid a basilisk. And then you eventually made your way to a covered valley of sorts, uh, a gorge almost, where at the far end, a large statue of the dwarven goddess Velena marked the entrance to the midwife's forge. However, it was occupied by a series of goblins, strange, tribal, crazed goblins being led by a figure who calls himself Vezik, mm. uh, who did reveal a little bit of information and has made a temporary bargain, or at least the beginnings of one, with the party to explore the Midwife's Forge and in exchange he will give you knowledge on how to restart it or how to basically activate the forge itself. And that is where we're going to be here today. Before we properly start playing, I have a new house rule that I'm going to be testing out right. for a couple of weeks. Okay. Tom gave me the funny... This is called the Have Fun Coin. Yeah. Um, and the idea is we've had some pretty disastrous bad luck yeah. over the last couple we of episodes. Have. And it's not been fun and it's caused stress. I don't know. So four natural ones on initiative. It's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, the idea um, is if, if you fail or miss an attack roll or if you basically... If you fail a, a dice roll three times in a row... I will give you inspiration, which is marked by the inspiration coin from D&D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> no joke, you that, is, that is what is printed on there. Dyslexic me was staring at that for ages like, going, is what's that wrong just with me? <laughs> no, or... <laughs> no in, inspiration coin. Yeah. Uh, so I will give you this. If you fail three dice rolls in a roll, you'll get inspiration. Remember, with inspiration, you have to spend it before you roll. You can't roll and then go, I'm going to spend it and get another roll. Okay. You have to basically go like, before I make this attack, I'm going to spend my inspiration and I get advantage. Yeah. Um, it's just a... You can't gain inspiration if you already have inspiration. Okay. So if you get the coin, you can't get another one even if you fuck up loads more times. And also, we're going to test it. We're it, going to test it. This it, is a complete test. This might test. be this something is... that we'll get rid of. Yeah. Or we might we'll... change it or we might, you know, fig find a different way that it works. But the idea is that failing in D&D is okay. That's part of the game. When you have a night of nothing but ones and twos and threes, it can be frustrating. Mm. And so this is a, like a little, like, hey, hopefully this will kind of change things around and let you do something cool. You roll two fun. ones with it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might that happen. happen. Yeah. It could happen. Let's see. Going on. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much where we start things up. Scaldi is currently still outside of the actual mine shaft on Scorb, your clack uh, mount that you purchased and have been traveling, has been traveling with you. Uh, the rest of you are making your way inside the mine shaft, I believe, and the bodies are currently in the wagon. Um, you look around you and you can see that this kind of, this rock stone wall has been carved away and a very ramshackle tunnel has been dug with very loose scaffolding made from what trees and woods can be scavenged from the area. Inside, you can see about a dozen tiny yellow goblin eyes working in the darkness. They appear to be work like repairing pickaxes, digging away at widening another shaft that leads out from this room. Some of them also appear to be carrying various objects. Uh, a, a very rough table has been constructed in the middle of it with various diagrams and writings kind of scrawled out. Um, and Vezik is currently looking over those. Most of the goblins don't seem to pay you much mind, but there is one in particular. Uh, you, it was the one that as you approached, basically started bowing down to worship Scorb and oh, Scaldi. Yeah. Uh, this one goblin is following the, all of the five of you. And it's kind of like dancing behind you. <laughs> and it like looks at you all. So is this tunnel full, like, full size? We're not like crouching to get through it. it? You're kind of crouching to kind of make your way through the tunnel, but then the larger chasms, it looks like this, it might have once been a room that's been dug out and then kind of excavated a little bit. Um, it looks like a part of a larger complex, perhaps some sort of like, you know, waiting room or a, a storage room or something. Hmm. And we haven't been traveling for super long? No. Okay. Yeah, it's literally within like a, like five, 10 minutes of, uh, from the front of it. My wingies are scraping against the cabin walls. Yes, my hat and my feather is uh, it's a bit tight. I think that's the least of your problems. I mean, once we get into this place, there's going to be waves of this thing, <laughs> uh, that thing, uh, <laughs> <laughs> blocking our exit. I've learned from my... He's family. looking at me! 
He's looking at me. I will cut that off if you touch me. I swear to God. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then he just runs away. I think and then he's he like, cute. He like looks back. That's not true. Ah! Based That's not his... a word that's in my vocabulary. Ah! Ah! And you see Vezit kind of looks over like, what's going on? He's prodding me. Wait, which one? I don't know, the, the really excited one. The dancing one. Ah! ah Smeek! Get back to work! Smeek. Smeek! Back to work! What's a very cute name. Yeah, what does uh, Smeek normally do? Is he, is Smeek he like is, a greeter? Mm, Smeek is one of the stranger ones. He's, he's had the madness for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, he's, his mind has become quite deranged. I mainly use him for manual labor. I've tried to, I've sent him into the forge a couple of times, but he refused to be killed. He refused to be killed? Yes, yeah, so he was stabbed and survived. Sometimes that happens with the, the creatures. They are kind of, my kind are quite robust. So was it like a stab to the leg or was it actually like a fatal stab? I believe that he was pierced by one of the animated bow's arrows. Mm. Oh, sounds fatal to me. Animated bows. And uh, madness? What madness? Oh, these, most of my kind, the goblins that live in the storm wall closest to the valley, uh, they've been slowly, their minds falling apart. Obviously a, a goblin of my intellect has kept it intact, mm. certainly not mad. But the others, uh, they're more simple than I am. They've slowly begun to unwind, you see. Yeah. Uh, Useful for my purposes. Did you know Smeek before the madness? No. What are you? Are you implying that all goblins know each other? No, because you've been working together. No, no. I found most of these, most of these cretins scavenging, uh, looting, uh, eating their own filth. Nice. I oh. put them to more better uses. This will simply be the beginnings of, a, of an empire. And the uh, make the do with what tools you have. As I am often told by my ancestors. I wouldn't call people tools. He like gestures to the to goblins like, do you really see these cretins as anything more than a tool? Look at this, look at them. And they, they are like pretty dim-witted. They're like scratching their butts, like picking their nose, like they're holding pickaxes and like licking them. Like they just, <laughs> they look like savage. They, 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 they've lost their minds, most of them. One of them is just sat on the floor, looking down at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Accurate uh, representation of Mark's day. <laughs> yeah. Sneak is particularly scarred. Out of all the goblins, they all are pretty scarred. Some of them have these um, patterns where it looks like they've been struck by lightning and it's kind of gone down their body and they've survived. Uh, these kind of like scarred, like beautiful spiderweb patterns along their kind of orangey greenish skin. Um, Smeek looks particularly scarred. He has, uh, looks like he's had like deep cuts in him at one point. An arrow has been stuck into his chest that has been healed over. He has like, his back is just covered in this scarred pattern, this lightning scar pattern. Um, but he just looks over with these kind of manic rotten brown teeth in a big grin. And he comes over and he's holding what appears to be like a broken bracer. And he's like, nah. <laughs> How very kind, thank you. <laughs> this guy's lovely. <laughs> uh, he's, a good, he's a good host. At the very least. He's very good with people. What, uh, sorry? Casta. Gas. Yeah? Ah, uh, he's pointing at me again. I. Don't speak goblin. Sorry, but he knows Sorry, what kid. he's saying because he's pointing at me and it's kind of weird. He's babbling nonsense, okay. uh, speaking about you being part of the storm and you all here to bring him his, his, uh, his, uh, I'm trying to think of the word in common, uh, glorious death. Uh, most of these goblins believe that if they're killed by the storm, they will return as more powerful creatures. Nonsense. Right. It seems quite uh, powerful already, considering what he survived. He's just stubborn. Stubborn. <laughs> Stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked to the goblins for an entire three hours. Can we be yeah. goblins? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't think of them as totally useless. We've seen them when they are uh, organized, at least. Well, that's very true. Well, uh, he's picking his nose again, but I mean, <laughs> don't eat it. Oh, oh, eat it. oh no, you eat it. it. Mm. Well, they're loyal, at least, right? Vezik? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I suppose, yes. They are loyal to a sense. It's more that they're driven by brave base instincts. They see me as more powerful, so they follow me. I help them provide, provide food. Normally, these creatures wouldn't survive without some sort of alpha to lead them. Good to know. But anyway, I've begun preparing my notes about the forge and what's ahead. Now is our agreement still in place? You will deal with the forge and the guardian, and in return, we shall share its properties, yes? Yes, but we're using it first. Yes, I believe that was part of the agreement. You have a friend, your guardian, that you wish to bring back, yes? Well, and uh, the quill as well, if that works. Oh, and my watch. That's uh, up and interesting. Well, I mean, that's why I'm here. I will allow you to have one use of it first, and then we will discuss what needs to be done. We'll need to see how much power is left after your guardian friend is returned. Right, okay. Sounds good. Do mm. you uh, know what sort of stuff we're facing? I do. I've had several of the goblins, and even myself, I've attempted to make my way through the forge a couple of times, but I've been thwarted every time. <sighs> but still, it seems that my particular area of expertise is not one that is, uh, well, I need people of more brawn stature for several matters. First of all, there is an antechamber. The antechamber is a collapsed floor. Uh, there is uh, rubble which can be climbed up to reach the second area, which leads into the main forge itself. The difficulty is that there are a number of weapons that have been animated. Uh, they were likely once part of the forge's defense system. But these storms, the black lightning, it's corrupted them somehow. And they're extremely aggressive. Uh, my goblins have tried to fight them, but they are potent. I've snuck past them, but I only did that because I was operating alone. Do you know what kind of weapons they are? I believe that there is a, a sword, a mace, uh, at least one bow, um, an axe, perhaps. Mm -hmm. They seem to be remnants, old creations of Elena's that have now become animated with two magic. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you know about the corrupted storm? We saw a bit of it on the way here. Mm -hmm. Disintegrating things, turning it into black soot. Yeah, certainly not a normal storm, magical in nature. There were, my ancestors told me that it was something connected to a weapon, something that they were sent to this area to do. But most of them, they were acting on information passed down by their forefathers and their forefathers. It's become a mud, a blurred, a distorted over time. It was something involving a nightmare and a dragon. Now that that magic is out of control, it is beginning to affect other things particularly magical technology. Hmm. Whatever it is, it is connected to Starbane and Callus. Some sort of weapon he designed or something. No, but do you think that this guardian, I don't know, maybe if guardian. we maybe if we spoke to them about Sentry? What kind of guardian is it? Is it a fully... It's not a guardian or... like your friend. Yeah. It is uh, more of a construct, a golem, we would call them. Yeah. It is uh, made of stone, appears to be in the shape of a very large uh, dwarven woman wielding tools, I believe to be an a element of the, that goddess, the one that is the forge is connected to. Valena. Yes, that one. Strange, erosian nonsense. But... Uh, it is, I mean, you cannot reason with it. It seems to be quite mad. It crackles with the same black energy as the animated weapons. I believe it has also been corrupted by the storm. But I suspect if the forge can be restarted, it may fix it. I say hmm. may, I'm not sure. And how would you start the forge? There's a process to it. Are any of you familiar with magical technology or arcane magic of that sort? Not technology, no. <laughs> this stuff baffles me. But yes, arcane. Well, perhaps that's something to work with. What about you? You seem to be a scholarly sort. Yeah. Is this of your interest? Are you uh, knowledgeable of magical technology? Have you dealt with anything like this before? In Nova's head, she's just thinking the word Brookstone, 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 Brookstone. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I was, no? Useless. Well, I will run you through it in layman's terms as best I can. It is a four-part process to reinstate the forge. 
This is certainly how it would have worked with my ancestor's technology anyway. I assume it to be very similar. First of all, the forge will need to be cleansed of magical effects. Normally this type of technology does not react well if there are existing magical effects in place. If it is similar to Starbane's technology, there will be a system to purge the room of any magical effects ongoing. This will normally be activated through a main console. I believe this to be at the far end of the room. Would this also affect us with our magical abilities? Mm, it should. It will perhaps sort of dispel any active magics that you have on you. Mm. Once you have done that, once the room, the forge has been cleansed, you will then need to reset it. This is a manual process. There should be some sort of manual override near the entrance. This will actually force the chamber that surrounds the forge to reopen. It's currently protected by a defensive barrier. Once you do this, this will be, you'll need somebody strong. It needs to be physically manually moved back into place. And this is an ancient technology. And it will likely be stiff, perhaps rusted. Then you will need to find a brand new power source. I don't know what you intend to use, but your Ganassi friend mentioned you may have something. The forge itself, once you've opened it up, there will be a compartment of which a new power source can be inserted. You will need to be very careful and ensure the power source is securely placed within the forge itself, in its core chamber. From this, there's one last step, dual activation. The manual override and the main command console must be activated at the exact same time. This will require two of you, one stationed at one point and another at another. Simple uh, key turn. Should be simple enough. Uh, how quickly do we need to do like all of these steps? As long as they are done in order, okay. it should be fine. The difficulty will be the Guardian itself, the Protector. It's crackling with this same black energy, and I'm not sure how that will interfere with the systems if it gets too close to them. Yeah, you said that one couldn't be killed? I don't believe so. My goblins, I've tried a number of experiments with it. I've had the goblins hurl javelins, sling stones at it from a distance. Whatever damage we cause is repaired within minutes. It seems to completely regenerate itself through the powers of this place. If we do this uh, reset and yes. it, it dispels the area, would it also dispel the Guardian? It does not appear to, I don't believe so. Its power is coming from this corrupted lightning. And that is unaffected by... Seems to be. ...the forge. Mm -hmm. But I believe it is the, the construct is using the black lightning as a power source. If it can revert to its original power source, the forge itself, well, my theory is that that should mean that it no longer requires the black lightning and it should dispel it itself. Okay. It's like... um. Like a clinging to, a, to oxygen, uh, you would take any source you could find if you were suffocating, but if you can return to fresh air, you would. Does that make sense to your layman minds? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sid. My McDonald's is here. <laughs> Sid, Sid the Goblin has arrived. Thank you, Sid. I just like that he put on screen, getting the mm, nugs. Getting Ten nugs. nugs. Getting to Ten nugs. nugs. Ten nugs. Do, do excuse me, my food was meant to arrive much earlier, but delivery fucked me over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The name of this goblin that just came over with this small bag. Ah, yes, thank you, uh, Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> you have brought me my rations. Excellent. Well, it sounds to me like we need to distract said guardian while other people do the stages of which to reset the forge. Yeah, I mean, uh, if we need strength to pull open the, the, uh, the forge, then I guess that's... No. Gotcha. Ayla. No, no, no. That's Ayla's. Honestly, that would be amusing, though. We Does anyone know. care for some fried potato? No, I'm thanks. Hungry, actually. <laughs> okay. Thank I will pass you. them down. Be careful, they might be uh, poisoned or spat on or something. Okay. Mm, tastes like snot. Yeah. Goblin. Okay. Look, mm. gobbles. Mm. <laughs> mm. You want them back, Mark? No, I'm okay. I'm Thank you. Derek, would you be able to help us, or no, at least would your that. goblin oh, army okay. be able to help us? I have no intention of putting myself at risk, but yes, you may have the goblins. If you need them to require you to do something, fine. So what's your end of the deal? I'm helping you activate the forge. I Bye. Mean, he has just told us everything. Yes? That we did not know. Well, I know. Sure, but we're, we're doing all the risk. Yes. 
Can you imagine if we went into that room Could and everything had step-by-step -step instructions? True. Life would be easier. But your oh. goblins could perhaps be a distraction. Yes. Oh. For the weapons. As I said, Particularly this the... one, the sneak. He's very distracting. He's yes. also very resilient, so he's probably going to live anyway. <laughs> okay. Does he understand yeah. what we're saying? He has no idea. No, okay. Can you communicate with him in Goblin? Yes, of course. Could you tell him to help us distract no. the Guardian? No. You just want the one Goblin? Well, he'll be More the leader of the Goblins. You tell me what you want them to do, and I will ensure that they do it. Can we have a discussion on strategics while you have your food? Yes, yes, yes. Great. Can I, be gone. Can I roll Hurry up. We want to get the forge activated as soon as possible. Yes, we want to do it. On him? On like all the instructions he's given? Mm -hmm. Can I roll an insight? Oh, yeah, cool. Natural 20! So we're 19. <laughs> that minus one wisdom is still in that 20. You watch this guy. Goblin. This goblin. He's very knowledgeable. Clearly, he the fact that he has this strange weapon, this cannon with this backpack with arcane energy in it, he clearly knows magical technology. And he certainly believes what he's saying. Like, you don't get any idea that he's, he's hiding any information from you about the process. But you're not... Sh the fact that he is... He's very dismissive of the other goblins, and he's basically making you do the work. You're not sure you can trust the guy in his general intentions, but what he's told you, you kind of think that he's... He's told you what he knows. The process kind yeah. of... Could he's told you him. an accurate process. But he might blackmail it. Uh, double stab us. Maybe. Brooks you don't know, us. but... You certainly, he, he seems to not really have any interest in caring about even his own people's lives. Yeah, so he definitely doesn't. You, you get the impression he's very selfish. Yeah. Okay. Goblin so. meat shields. Yes, that's very much how he treats them. And we that's should... very much how he's treating us. Yep. He is? Oh, he, I thought he was lovely. But we... <laughs> Smeek is like at like Ayla's leg, like... Like a little puppy, just like looking up at the rest of you. This needs, this needs to stop. I think he likes you. Yeah, it's. It, I was gonna like Do you want to give him a little snacky? zap with his light, but <laughs> I think he like. He goes over to Lucius. Here we go. Get a little piece of like dried ration fruit. Yeah. <gasps> Ready? 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 <laughs> go get the snacky. He looks behind it. Looks back at me. <laughs> 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 Go get, oh, go get it. He's, he's pointing at your glittery it. skin. Yes, beautiful, radiant, luxurious. I think yes. he wants to eat you. You don't want to eat me, do you? I have no idea what he's saying, but anyway. I hope it's something good. Yeah. That's some charming. Back on course. Goblin meat shields. Goblin meat shields, team meat shield. I don't think he's lying to us. I think he, he he knows the process, but his process could be wrong. But he's definitely in it for himself. I don't think he'll Brookstone us. I mean, we're going first. So we at least get what we want out of it, or at least you guys again what you want out of it. Well, and... well that's it. That yeah, but we do want other things. Like we don't just have one use for this. Like we we want to see what this forge can do. We've got Quill, we've got your watch. I wouldn't mind trying to see if I can get this lightning rod thing to... Anyway. Um, also, he's planning evil things, so we don't really want him to be able to do that. Right? That's, yeah, he does uh, want to take over this He does want to create an empire. It's only with yeah. slaves and force. And also, that's an after the forge situation. So, he's, got, he's dealing with goblins that are dim-witted, right? Yes. This is the problem that he's facing. He needs intelligent warriors. It seems like Smeek is quite a capable fighter, right? He can withstand a lot. Stubborn. But it seems like he's unable to rally them to do these stages inside the forge. Yeah. So He could at least should... get one of them to do the other step to twist the key. That's very simple. Not if it needs to be done at the exact same time. Yeah. yeah. But it leads They're me really to believe dumb. that he is I just realized I need to get your miniatures, so I'm going to go get those. Keep talking. He's getting our miniatures. So, what I believe is... Quick, while he's out of the room! Revolt! Revolt! No! Read his notes! Read his notes! Read his notes. Oh, no. <laughs> he was like, Eat the McDonald's! Was like... <laughs> <laughs> Eat the McDonald's! What I Oops. think is... 
Okay, he they're just does... here because he doesn't want them. So they're just they just live here now. Sure. Okay. Right. He doesn't want to go in this room. I think he's letting us know that the Guardian's fine. It's, you know, you're going to deal with it. But I think the threat is much higher than he's letting on. Oh, yeah. I know. I got that straight away. Oh, you like, did? Yeah, no. He, oh, you're yeah. so intelligent. Yeah, yeah he's no, using he's... us I don't want to like, be yeah. hit by this weird black, black lightning, lightning yeah. that we no. saw disintegrate rocks. No, it's terrifying. Okay, he's downplaying something else that's happening in there. I think he very much wants to just use us, so if it fails, we die and he's still alive. And he can figure out what we did wrong. I think he wants us to succeed resetting the forge. That much yes. is clear. So he needs us alive for that amount of time. Exactly. But After that, though, he still so needs a power source. Which does. we are, which which we are providing. And yeah. we can take, I guess we can take it out if we want to. So if he tries to revolt... <gasps> Why can't his, his <laughs> weaponry provide the power? I don't know how much his... power it needs. It would it need a quite, lot. It looks quite powerful. It, no, it would need a lot. Cool. Because if his weapon is 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 Starbane technology, well, then you would say that Tiangong could power it. But I don't think Tiangong could. Not in this form, anyway. Yeah, maybe with more fragments put together. Well, but what? it also does absorb that power. But what um what power source have we got? That's it, we have one. That's the need to know basis, Piri. All right. I mean, I'm just going to lean to Lucius and go, Brook stoned, I, while looking dead at Perry. <laughs> There's a, a lot of big, pointy, green ears. What? Go goblins. There's lots of goblins. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, tell me when we're in there alone, right? Mm. I mean, well, you'll see it. Same team, right? You don't need to. It's we got a power source. Okay. Sure. You don't need to know that we got it from Starbin. <laughs> Yeah, you said that before, actually, that name, hmm? when uh, you were talking to Quill, and I did say I should ask you about this, but I couldn't find a good time to... It's not a good time. There's a lot of goblins. All anyway. right, I'll ask about it next time there's a good time. There's never a good time. Anyway. No. Right, l I think we need to do this. We need to go in there. Like, it, this all... We cannot trust him as much as we want, but the fact is we need to get Sentry back, and this is the only way to do it. Yes, but how many of them can we use as literal meat shields to absorb damage while we figure this out? Wait. Can we just... I'm having a thinky. Oh, God. Another one. Yes, I'm sorry. What if we bring all these goblins in as meat shields and they turn on us because their leader tells them to? Well, he's saying... And we're trapped in this room with goblins that are then fighting us as well as the Guardian. It could go really south. I mean, but they're pretty dumb, though. We could easily convince them not to, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, this one thinks... What was he saying about Alpha and leadership? I mean, this one thinks fair, Taylor's... To be fair, I think thing. that I could... He's pointing at me again. If I was to if I was to do some lightning-y things, then I think that genuinely he would probably worship me. Try it. Smeek is like looking up as crackles he some speak. lightning. He's like know. he understands, but he doesn't. He's like... Is he just like I'll just give him a... Like... Can I just give him a little zap? You give him a little zap? Yeah, so will you just like buzz in with like you channel a little bit of rage to make your hands crackle? <laughs> you do this, you watch as like he yelps and like his hair just goes like and like stands up uh, and he like stuns and then looks at you and then he gets on his knees. Well, you just founded a religion. There you go. Queen of the goblins! And he like, hold, he, like holds Queen of the goblins! He holds Queen his of body the goblins! <laughs> I think he wants you to kill him. Any of the other ones? Huh? Via lightning. <laughs> he, just, he puts his head to the ground. Any of the other ones react to that at all? or did they? Not I could make him shut up. So easy. It was this easy. Just anyway. happened. Yeah, I zapped him and then I told him to shush and now he's gone quiet. It's great. None of Peace. the other goblins seem interested though. Zap, uh, zap uh, They're all he... just like busy doing other work. But maybe this th Meek could be a leader of the goblins. I think we'll be fine up to the point that we put the power source in to the console. Because he doesn't, he needs a power source, right? Mm. So he won't kill us before he finds out what it is. We could kill us and take the power source. We but just need help distracting things so that we don't get as hurt. He said we need to keep the Guardian to away from the consoles, right? Mm. So if we could use the goblins to just distract it. Keep while we it do it away yeah. yeah and worse comes to worse send uh, <clears throat> at <clears throat> mm -hmm. huh 
Never mind. Okay. I'm just not gonna say it out loud, but yeah. Either I way, Ayla, I think you should be at the door by the manual override. Nope. Wait, is that the one where she has to pull it open? Yeah. Part yep. two. The one yes. where he said then someone really step strong. Two. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's all I got. I guess maybe I should be at step one, which is the console where you have to cleanse the forge or whatever. I honestly wasn't listening to the rest of it until he said someone strong needs to pull. The, so I got that one. I believe that's stage three. That's stage two. Stage one. Yes. Nova. Stage one was uh, initiate the cleanse protocol. But it's probably good we all go there anyway because that's where we're going to face the guardian for the first time. Just to clarify, was the power source bit the same console as the cleanse? Didn't say. Didn't say. Yeah. Didn't fucking say, did he? And you don't know the room layout. You don't know how this connects to the antechamber. You don't. You don't know at this point. I think beyond pressing the two buttons at the same time, we've got a lot of time. We could just. Peek in there. You just need to do it in the time. right yeah. order. There's gonna be a guardian running around and hitting us. We need to <coughs> set some certain people on the guardian solely to keep away from everybody else doing the process. If I'm honest, I'd like to stay away from the guardian and, and if I can look at resetting this forge, I'd like to do that, but... If I'm honest, I'm no. up for a big scrap and I love going close to really powerful corrupted lightning things, so send me... No, I'm terrified. <laughs> it's I mean, gonna be teamwork, guys. Nobody's yeah. gonna get to stay away from this thing. We're all yeah. gonna have to work together. Oh God, who have I become? <laughs> <laughs> Leader! <laughs> you hear like a tiny, like, like from his position on the ground, you just hear like... Oh. <laughs> 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 He puts his head to the ground. Can we keep him? Let's let's give me. No. Either way, it Please. sounds it sounds like we got other rooms to get through first. So there's apparently a whacking to do. Uh, I'm just gonna clarify something with the goblin dude. Mm -hmm. Beric, are you done mumbling to each other? Have you done with your food? Bezik yes. Even. Okay. Um, Bezik, I got two questions mm, for yes. you. Um, the the console that does the manual over the the purge. Sorry. Um, the, the kind of magical purging in step one. Mm -hmm. Is that the same console that you put the power source in? No, of course. Sort of expected layman not to understand. <laughs> the console of where the cleansing uh, activation is done is at the far end of the room. It is the main console that would have once been used by the attendants of the forge. The way you need to insert the power is into the forge itself, which is in the center of the room. And it's currently, oh. until it, the manual override is reset, is protected by a series of walled stone chambers. Okay. You will understand when you see it. He's so smart and he says such big wordies. Wordies, my goodness. And they call my people the simpletons. What language? Keep playing on his ego. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. Fezzik. Yes, ego. Feed my ego. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what language um, are all the consoles in? Uh, common, I believe, your language. Oh. It was it was intended, it was built for your people. Not your people, but or their people, I suppose, and um, this one's people. E Erosians, uh, people from your planet. Not your planet, but their planet. You know, you, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. So smart. He's so smart. Um, so, shall we just dive in, protect Nova as much as possible? We somehow need to get Sentry Onto the forge? Where do we actually put sentry? No, that will be after. After the activation? We need to, we need to do all we of need, this we to can't deactivate put sentry the sentry anywhere near this until it's safe. We're I resetting thought... the forge. And then it'll be powered on, and then we can do the... Don't look at me, Thomas! Are you sure? I think this step is just... one is resetting. This is to use the thing, right? Once the dual activation... We're putting the we have to goodness. reset it. To Did you really bring this one with place. you? I can't believe it. He kind of tagged along. Yeah, he fell out of the sky. Probably fell onto his head. Step four is literally activate the forge. It's to activate the... You don't understand how the forge works, Ganassi. The forge is a magical <laughs> platform itself. To activate it is to reignite all of its systems. This is the Imperium. You can then form. bring your guardian <laughs> friend in. Right. We take bad magic out yeah. from bad guardian, pump with good magic. Yes. So it stops the, hitting Once the forge is activated, you can use it. Then we you don't need to do this every time. Can you imagine that every time they wish to use the forge, they had to go through these steps? Gah! 
Max. What do you mean, can you imagine? You said we have to get rid of all the spells that are in there. If we use it for one thing, that's one spell. Then we have to cleanse all the spells. Because I don't think that's a dumb... This is Tom arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this Just is a dumb... Just like how you're like, to clarify, no, this is me, Tom the player. <laughs> no, this is Tom and Piri. We have become one. <laughs> oh, jeez. I get it. <sighs> Ayla gets it. Why right. are you not... <laughs> Forge full of bad magic. Bad magic friend must friend go. Piri, Piri's hair starts blazing red. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense! Just, just, just work with us here! I'm working. Just silently <sighs> seize in the corner. About f six goblins uh, kind of appear holding shovels, pitchforks. They have armor in the shape of like old pots that they've kind of like put on their heads oh. or like scraps of <laughs> armor attached to animal hides. Like, they look pretty pitiful. Mm. And uh, Vezik is like, Vosvak tamambala, Vorindalas. He points at Ayla and he points at Nova. Dorengandvaladalach. Tell them what you need them to do and they'll do it. Or Shield us from danger. Vorlaxi. Distract anything bad. What do we want them to do? Distract the guard, keep the guardian, keep away, the guardian from away from the controls. All right. What They'll lead you to the first antechamber. Are you going to watch and make sure everything I will be coming there? from the rear, yes. I will watch. Well, I will can you shoot? Are you going to help us? <laughs> I could. Mm, this device, and he packs the cannon, is not perhaps regarded for its accuracy. I cannot. I cannot promise that you will not be injured in any attempts for me to help. And you, you could damage the forge doing that. I could, which is why could I have you not use been, an alternate weapon. No. Why? This is my weapon. Could you use a different weapon? Yes. Well, I can't. I'm not some meat-headed warrior. This takes considerable skill and has incredible magical effects. And skillful you are. Yeah. I'm just going to build that up and use it. Could right we take a short rest okay. before we go into this situation? I mean, the, the whole conversation, this has probably taken like an hour with him like eating and stuff. So yeah, you can absolutely have a short rest. Oh, cool. All right. You can spend a short rest now. I will do that. You, one thing you do notice as you look, kind of look over the room is that Smeek is still where Ayla told him to like be quiet. Aww. And he's still just like in the middle of the room with his head down. And you can see his legs beginning to tremble from the awkward position. It's like... Um, Ayla? <laughs> I'm gonna point at Smeek. Oh, Smeek! He like tries to turn his head, but he's like still trying to keep in the same light. Smeek, get up! <laughs> he stands up. He does understand Smeek, Smeek, heal! He like, heal! Yeah, he like walks Vezik to where the- said they didn't understand home. They probably understand very, very basic. It's his name. He like looks up at you. Lucia, sit! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> can I get up? No, no, but what's happening? Yes, you can come. Thank you. So what's the plan? You guys just want to head on? Let's do it. All right. In that case, clear some space. <sighs> it's map time. Map Dang. time. Map maker, map maker. Okay, so this Make was the map you had map. planned last time, right? <laughs> oh. Didn't I make you do that as Cam as well? Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you yeah. should I put the people? Probably. All around. Just had a weird day, yeah, you? you can have them slightly off the map as I describe what is okie going on. Okie dokie. Here we go. Okie dokie, here we go, see? <laughs> here we go. Um, I'm going to give you a bunch of goblins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here are your six normal goblins. Six goblins? Ooh. Cool. Here is Smeek. <laughs> you can have Smeek. Nice. <laughs> cool. um, rather than having to worry about individual stats for these goblins, I will tell you now. Each goblin has seven hit points. Right. They have a plus three for any attacks. And they do 1d6 damage. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Then. Any stats, if they, have to make, if they have to make any sort of skill check, they just roll a d20 and they just get whatever I roll on the d20. They have like no bonuses. Okay. Uh, they move at 25 feet, so like normal kind of like standard movement, um, but they are pretty garbage. <laughs> what was they their seven garbage. hit points? They've got seven hit points, plus three to any attacks they make, and they do d6 damage. 
Do we get inspiration for each goblin we kill? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't kill the goblins. It's worth asking, isn't it? Don't kill the goblins. Sid is just sorting up, uh, setting up a cam. Do I need, I, I can move the map if it helps as well. That's fine now. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. So, all of them following up. you begin making your way down through a very dark, you, most of you, anybody who is taller than I would say like 5'3", which is, I think is most of you, yeah. you're hunching, you're crouching. At some point you have to crawl because the tunnels are so small that have been dug. It's not like real life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but as you begin making your way into what is clearly worked stone, beautifully worked stone, every floor tile is engraved with Ooh. visages of the gods, with images of Erois, oh. with landscapes, like every piece of stone that you see, worked stone that hasn't been collapsed or broken or ruined, is a work of art. And eventually it leads you into a kind of worn, this looks like a much more natural cavern. Um, and you can see beyond that there is a room that has been partially collapsed. This is in the dim light. Uh, those of you with dark vision are seeing this, and that's about it. Anybody who doesn't have dark vision, you're blinded. Um, those of you with dark vision can see that there are a number of broken columns. Uh, you can see what about 10 feet up, there is a sort of platformed area, which appears to lead into other rooms and things like that. But the floor down here, it looks like maybe it was once a storage basement. Um, there were stairs once, that, but they've long since crumbled. There is no lights, apart from maybe an ever so faint, faint glow uh, coming from bobbing sources that are just moving around the room. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The end of the corridor. Mm. Um, so yeah, so basically I'm going to need a marching order. So place yourselves in a marching order of who's in the front, who's behind, etc. Um, oh shit, the goblins up front. Yeah. 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 yeah, you can send the goblins in. You put it up them. front, maybe not all of them. Yeah, don't we like want to two, reserve them for the Guardian? One. Yeah, this is the room one. before the forge, right? Yeah. Yeah, they talk so I guess about we're the all in the way as well. Empty chamber. Right. Weapons. Two or three? Two. Two. Two is good, yeah. I'll, I'll go. So two goblins in front with Ayla. I mean, Ayla's always front mine, that's just easy. Yeah. You want to go? Yeah, I'll go next. I'll go next to um, Araya. Nice. Is that you? And then Nova, Lucius, the and then... Five gobos. I'd say three gobos up front. Got five at the back, yeah. There we go. Aww. The goblins will always have an initiative of ten, by the way, because there's so many of them and you kind of have to command them. They can't be that quick, but they're not that slow. They seem quite Middle agile right. and quite quick. Cool. Um, cool. Uh, okay. Fair enough. I'm just prepping myself for a bunch of stuff here. The stench is unbearable with this. Um, what are the room or the goblins? Creatures. All oh, right. <clears throat> so yeah, you see the room before you, but you don't see anything else. I think you've got dark vision, don't you, Ayla? Yep. Yeah, sure enough. So yeah, the goblins seem to completely be at home in the darkness. They have no light sources that they carry. They're just like, <laughs> and they kind of tug and bring you the correct way. Does anybody um, need extra light? Do I give up my? Oh yeah. You can choose there. to, I believe. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'll do the cantrip, produce flame then. Yeah. So this orange fire. fiery glow illuminates, and you can now see these kind of, you know, rough stone walls. Like I said, this looks like it was maybe once like a just a really rough basement that was carved out, mm. and you see the shadows begin dancing and flickering between these broken columns, um, mm. and you can see that there. There's like. Maybe you can see the faint outline of some weapons just laying on the ground. Um. Um, you know ritual spells? Mm -hmm. This is going to sound so dumb. Does it cast uh, take a spell slot to cast them? You can, you can cast ritual spells normally. You can't though, because it's from your Book of Shadows, right? Um, if you're doing a ritual spell from your Book of Shadows. Yeah, from So the... for you, you can never cast them with a spell slot. Instead, ritual spells take an extra 10 minutes on top of however long they normally take to cast. Okay. So if it's like an action, it takes 10 minutes to cast that spell. Instead. But no spell slot. But you don't cast a spell slot. Okay. Well, that would be a very, very, very long. Yeah. But things like clerics and wizards can choose to either cast them as a ritual or cast them instantaneously right. with a spell slot. Okay. You can only cast your ritual spells as rituals. Yeah. Okay. That's like a thing with the Book of Shadows. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm 
presuming we're up against magical weapons here, similar to maybe what we saw at the Night Eyes? Maybe? Like the... Probably. I assume it's always worse than we think. Okay. Yep. Shall I cast Detect Magic and see if I can figure out, because magic. Yes. Sort the of. goblins at this point are like tugging Ayla, like, come on, like they're kind of like, <clears throat> they're pointing in the room like. I mean, they said there were going to be magic spells in there, magic weapons. I mean. They said that they were, yeah, the lightning, but if there's some way that, I, we it, it's we either going to be the same as the Guardian in that until we reactivate the forge, they're not going to stop or there's some source in here that's powering them and maybe we can stop it that way. Do you know how to get rid of them? Me? No, geez. No, I mean just if we, is it like just a hit in the lot sort of situation or? Might be. That's maybe. I'm just saying if I cast Try Detect Magic, I can at least pinpoint where they are so we're not surprised. Aren't they just big glowing weapons? No, they're not glowing and in fact there are multiple weapons in the room. It looks like this room okay. was maybe a storage or something oh, I like that. So and there's just like weapons. loads of weapons scattered over the floor. This little, I'm turning around. These little goblins. Are you ready to fight? Yes! And they start raising their pickaxes and they oh, start wow. to get like really worked up. We're gonna try our best to keep you all alive, okay? We're gonna all rally together and do this. They just look confused. They're just looking at each other. They're gonna create some <laughs> dancing lights. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yes. And they're trying to jump and grab it. Well, don't do that. Like, ah, one's like holding his hands up because he touched it and the others are like... <laughs> okay, well I can guide them towards fight. fight. Could you just guide them into the room and then we'll see which ones are the weapons? Let's not use them as fodder. That's what we're literally using them for in the Guardian room. Let's not forget that... Would you do yeah, that Yeah, but we do want them to get or? to that point. While oh. this conversation's going on, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. It'll take 10 minutes. Because it's yeah. 10 minutes to do. So okay. So that conversation is like a couple of minutes. And yeah. Then... So I imagine like while they're doing it, I'm going to hold up Tian Gong and I guess maybe draw some draw some runes in the air. Some runes in the air. And then Ooh. kind of the final act is to pass it across my eyes so okay. I can sort of, I guess, see. Okay. So you're doing that. Is anybody else doing anything else? The goblins are pretty agitated. Can at this I point. tell them? Let's roll. Two. Go on. What are you going to tell them? Just be quiet and sit. So, make a persuasion with disadvantage because they don't understand but can you. I tell... But you're like, you don't know if Smeek understands you. He seemed to like follow your your physical directions, but it's still there's lost in translation going on. So make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Eight. <laughs> so I guess that this is this is your know, Ayla's like. Shush! Quiet! Shut up! And then you grab one and you start through it and he's like, ah, rah, and it, that just seems to get them more like, nah, and they start getting really excited and they're babbling and they're making noises. Can I zap another one? Yeah, you zap one and that one like looks up like, oh. he like, he like follows your Sit. hand and like looks. Sit. He like looks down, he gets on the ground. He's not sitting, but he's like on the ground. Stay. Like he's put his head down. <laughs> He stays, yeah, yeah. The others are kind of like looking at him and like looking at you now. <laughs> they're being quiet, but they're not like sat down, but they're looking at you like. <sighs> and like every time you zap one, they, there's like a jolt of what looks like they're happy. Like they're clearly in pain, but they're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they like okay. slap their arms and stuff. At least they're just kind of quiet. Yeah, right? they've quieted it down. So if, if you think that if they had, they probably would have run in the room if you hadn't done something. Uh, Nova, you complete your spell at the end of this shenanigans. Goblin Whisperer. Um, and you cast Detect Magic. What's the range on Detect Magic? Like 30 foot. 30, 30 foot, so you can see 30. 30 foot around you. So from where you are back in the corridor, you you see yes. the magical weapons of your party, but nothing else. Okay, I'll probably move up to the front of the group, so where the gobos are. So you kind of go like up here? Yeah. And you're going to look in the room here, yeah? Yeah. So, yes. This is fur. So this is... Ah, uh, my, my ruse of placing Oh, he placed well, them but... in the room, but they were in the wrong places. Oh my god. So, those four weapons, you can see a bow, a mace, a sword and an axe, definitely have lingering magic, okay. but they don't activate. So I'll relay this and I'll kind of point in the vague direction of, of mm -hmm. where they are. I'll describe that they're a, a bow, a yeah, no, that, yeah, you, yeah, no. yeah, once you describe them, then the whole party knows where they yeah. are. Just to point them out from the piles of weapons around here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So can mm -hmm. you see how they'd activate? Is it just we get close to them sort of thing, or...? I imagine it's probably proximity. Okay, there's no traps or anything? Uh, I look around? I mean, the Detect Magic didn't pick up any, any medical traps? I mean, I, I, I can't see any magical traps. Don't, don't know for physical traps. I guess that's the only way they'd activate. Magic traps, I mean. You could try to hit them from range? Yes. That'd be good. The bird well, would hit us back with range. That's true, but then at least it's only one to worry about. I mean, it's a tight corridor. <laughs> Let's try and bring that one in, like a bottleneck. The first one. Okay. Well, no, we're at the front. Wanna zap one of them? Not zap, shoot it. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go. Sure. Hold on, let me do some leg stretches. You can take a surprise round over. Um, so just make an attack, because you need, you have advantage. If it's an attack roll related ability. If it's a saving throw, then it's just saving throw. I guess I'll do a good old Eldritch Who Blast dude. Okay, sure. You have advantage. Um, are you going to target the same weapon or are you going to try and shoot two beams at different ones? I'm going to go for the same one, so the one that's nearest to us, the, the sword. flamey sword. Mm -hmm. But then when I do it, can I then get back? Yeah, you have a whole surprise I, round, yeah. Yeah, 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 so I'd like to get back um, mm -hmm. so I'm behind like all the columns and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so... Ha! Natural one on one and a 16 on the other. But that's, yeah, so one beam. Or yeah, that's one beam because yeah. you have advantage on both beams. So 16 plus 7 is so 21. Hit. Yep, hits. And then so I'll, the first I'll just beam hits. do the other roll. Because yep. you have advantage, so roll on both. 14 plus 7, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yep. 20, 21. Yep, both beams hit. And this is force damage you're dealing, isn't it? Yours. Very good. Very good. Seven and one and nine on the other. Damn. Seven and nine, so 16. Mm -hmm. Maybe tens of done. And then if I can... <clears throat> so you, as you big turn and start running, you hear this hum, this kind of... And this crackle of, like, lightning. Oh, cool. As these four weapons suddenly rise up into the air and you can see lightning begins crackling up and down them. They emanate these yeah, black lightning as they emanate and glow. Um, and then they come to life. Roll initiative, everybody. Woo! Nice. Kind of hoping <laughs> all of them weren't gonna. Two. Activate so Ayla? Them. 15. Piri? Uh, 11. Nova? Uh, five. Lucius? Five. <laughs> Araya? 11. Okay. Keep track of like really bad rolls as well. Things like initiative, it obviously won't count on, but it's things like yeah. failed attacks, failed yeah. skill checks and okay. stuff. So, um, okay. So at the top of the round, I believe is the weapons themselves actually. Nice. So uh, one is the, so two is the range weapon. So. Oh, they're all coming. Hover about yeah, they all activated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. So the bow floats into place, and you can see that it kind of just creates kind of semi physical arrows that it just constantly spawns. Um, the bow just kind of crackles with a, a, a string of lightning, and a flurry of arrows Ooh. launches out in a 15 foot cone, which will strike <laughs> three goblins plus Ayla. Uh, um, so oh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I will make it for the three goblins. Oh, that's not good. Nine. <laughs> Nine? I'm worried about all the goblins. Yeah. This does quite gone. a bit of damage. Does it? Don't know. Might do. I'm resistant to lightning damage, no! So, uh, okay, it's no <laughs> lightning damage. These arrows seem to just Damn kind it. of hit you with a piercing force. It's 23 points of damage. <gasps> Two of the goblins save, which means they take half, which means they take 11. Three goblins. Oh. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, <laughs> we are bad. That's just, a lot of damage for one hit. We're bad yeah, it people. Yeah, it seems to that once it kind of launches this flurry of, um, of missiles, the, the lightning seems to fade for a second. Um, Hmm. And then it will just take five foot to jump back. I was hoping right. it was lightning damage. And then... That was a good opener. Rock and roll! Three dead, four left, including Scree or whatever he's called. What's he called? Smeek. Smeek. Smeek-a-meek. Scree. Don't try and hit me, Smeek. Don't try and hit me. 
Um, what were the weapons done? Oh, they've just, just like moved. surrounded the entrance. Yeah. They, they move, but then they are going to, yeah, they, they just hover in place. Is this the gap here, yeah? Yes, there is a gap here, and then there is also like a crawl hole uh, just on the That's side. Difficult. Uh, it, for a small creature, easy. Like a small creature can just run underneath it, so the goblins can run through it. But for you guys, you would need to physically crawl, so you move at half speed through it. Mm. So it's basically difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. um, after the goblins, is Ayla is actually the one that first wants to go. Guess I'm going in. Sure. Please don't leave me alone. Um, I'm gonna hit the. Oh. Okay, sure. I'm going to rage at first, though. Okay, so as you're running, you watch as the lightning begins crackling up and down Ayla's leg, kind of okay. starting from the floor, up her legs, into her arms as they tense with muscle, as you watch as the fury in her eyes, as the hammer comes yeah. out. Damn. Yeah, Are you does. attacking recklessly? Yeah. No. Okay. No. But I should Two have. Two attacks? I should have, probably, because it's not very good. Um... 15 to hit on one. So the, that one misses. The bow, it seems, is extremely agile and spins out mm. the way as you swing the hammer. 17 on the other. Oh, that one's going to miss. Damn it! Well, wow. Okay, well, <laughs> lightning zap. Yep, lightning zap. Dexterity saving throw. That is a 23. So half damage is one. Yay! Yay. El Clafico. So you swing. <laughs> And then the lightning blast launches up into the bow. Seems to disrupt it, but doesn't seem to have too much of an effect. Uh, Piri or Araya, you're both at the same initiative, so... I've got plus three dex. Plus six three six. dex? Plus six. Uh, plus six. Is that your saving throw? What's your main dex one? Oh, my main dex is three. Three, so you're both the same. So choose, who, choose. You, you guys just choose. No, after you. We spend an entire turn. Me sure. Like... Please do that. <laughs> I'll go. Right. Okay. All right, I'll mark Araya as the first out of the two of you. Okay. I'll bump her up to a 12 I will, da, da, da. I'm gonna move up, sorry, a little bit. I'm gonna use my shield and cast Guiding Bolt on the bow. Okay. But that is ba, 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 4d6 radiant I get, Do I get a saving throw or is it an attack roll first? Uh, I think it is an attack roll first. Attack roll yeah. first. Do you still have a charge on the bow? This will be the last one. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. On the bow? Good. Yeah. <sighs> Spins out the way as this guiding bolt smashes into the ceiling. You can see that the bow, because it seems to be made of lighter materials, yeah. is very, very agile. The other weapons don't seem as quick. Dexterous bow! A very dexterous bow. So that's your action. Yep. Any bonus action? Uh, I can Piri. cast uh, Nova and Lucius, you'll be going after... Uh, the goblins will be going after Piri, so you two think about what you want to do. Um, can I? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... Mm -hmm. If I went here, could I go right through it to get... So they don't have the attack of opportunity? Yes. I'm still within the Yeah, you're there. still within reach range, so you, you're right. not provoked. So I get past the axe and the... Is that a mace? Yes. Um, and I will do a flurry of boys so against... Key, key point. Key point. Four on arm strikes. One, two, three, four. Uh, Go for it. Six, six. So against you the... Have Nova go, yeah? Okay. I'm against locked. the mace. Yep, against the mace. Um... Six, 12 is the lowest. So the 12 misses. Another 12, then 18. Hits. And then 25. Hits. Okay, so, so two, two hits. hits. Cool. Uh, one, so you two, launch with these flurry of flaming fists. Wham, 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 wham. Uh, for eight and a six, so 14 damage. 14 and points of damage. Your hands like impact against the mace itself, like kind of punching against it and, and your training absorbs, you know, you don't feel the pain as your hands are, are smashing into the metal. Um, and you can feel that parts of it begin splintering, like the wooden shaft begins breaking ever so slightly. Whatever magic is holding them together, it seems to be disrupted. Cool. And then after that, I'd like to spend a bonus action to do burning hands. Well, that was your bonus was action, is Flurry. Oh, is it? Flurry yeah. is a bonus action. Damn it. Damn it, I'll do that next time. Yep. Cool. Ah, that's all right. It's fine. Okay, so after Piri, the goblins. Your remaining four goblins. Well, including Smeek, we'll go, we'll say like five, ten. They basically charge in. Go, goblins! Smeek will stand next to Ayla. The other goblins will just charge in. Um, one of them will throw his pickaxe at the bow. 
uh, for a total of 12. It misses. Uh, one of them, uh, Smeek, will attack the bow as well. Smeek actually gets a 19, which is a hit. Wow. Damn, oh, wow. Smeek. For five points of damage. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, and then the other remaining one will go for the mace, uh, getting a nine, which is a miss. So the goblins just charge in, swing, 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 swing. Aww. Nothing seems to happen, and one of them now has no weapon, as he's like, just got his fists. <laughs> <laughs> he threw his pickaxe. Um, after the goblins, Nova. Um, so the lightning grapple that I have, yeah. could I like try and get the sword? And I don't want to pull it through that hole, but like jam it in the hole? You can try. Like, yeah. Sure. Yeah, um, you can try that. So it's, uh, as an action, the creature can fire this weapon as an attack with a range of 15 feet. So what roll do I make? Like, so it would be uh, just with your dex modifier, because you're not technically dex proficient modifier. with this weapon. So that's so, a plus three. Yeah, so okay. you just plus three. D20 plus three. That would be a seven plus three with a 10. It's a 10. So you try and aim it and fire through this tiny hole, but the lightning grapple just embeds into the stone and the charge just down the, down the line and then it retracts. Oh, I thought you said arm. she pulled herself through no. the... <laughs> Breaks the neck. No. Uh, um, bonus action. Uh, got move. Uh, I'll move, like. You need to move. So yeah, you can so have line of sight. I just want to see what the range is. You could be here because it's like 15 feet. Yeah, Actually, 15. No, you need to be here for line of sight. So. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a line there. Lucius? I just don't want to be in a line. I'm going to go up to this, yes. crouch down to see through. So you're going to, yep, okay. So you're in that space at the moment, yep. Yeah, looking through after mm -hmm. the whole chain. Like, mm -hmm. so uh, kind of like in between here at the moment. Well, can I peek through and cast through with a hand? <laughs> you, you'd have to be where you are. So you're basically like in the hole, half sticking out of the hole. Sweet. <laughs> Bonus action, I'm going to send my dancing lights into the room and spread them out so there's okay. a light source. Yeah, fills Very the room with light source, yep. And then I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb at level one. Okay. Sorcery points, two points to twin it. Okay. And so you then get to do two targets now. I'm going to do these two the targets. The sword and the axe. Which I can Great, make your attack rolls. That's an actual target. Oh, wow! That's the first one, second target. So this will be what? against the axe. How is that? How is that possible? Missed it entirely. 15 plus, I believe it's a seven, yeah. Hits. So roll the natural 20 first, double the dice. Okay. Nice. Magic roll at level one is 3d8. Nice. Yeah. Hefty, this hefty. Is, this is what Lucius is supposed to do. I like this supposed to. He has very bad luck as well with his spell attacks. Yeah. Well, Will you just roll those three? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, six, six, and a three. Fifteen points. Doubled because it's a crit. Uh, so thirty points. Thirty wow. points of damage to the sword, right? It's twinned. So yeah, and then now you roll damage to the second one. So you, you roll separate damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the sword. Nine. Nine points of damage to the axe, and it was Nine what kind of damage? Two. What kind Cold. of damage do you do? Cold, so then you get one Dichromancy. So who do you want to hit with that? Level we one. have reduced Dichromancy to 30 feet. I yeah. went through an I'm going to hit the closest one. He's still one. within the, feet. So that would be the axe. Yeah. And, and that then that would be... Charisma's plus four right now. So level plus Charisma, so five, five. points. So five points of damage. So you nice. watch as these two kind of spinning orbs of frost launch out from Lucius's hands. As one hits the sword, it covers the sword in a thick, rhymy ice-like coating that causes it to just drop and smash. Oh, and you watch as parts yes. of the sword fall apart as he does wow, so. Nice. Uh, the axe manages to slightly avoid it, but still has a hard uh, part of its haft covered in ice as well. And it kind of spins out of control. And then Lucius looks over, pulls like a, a section of like color, like pulling blue from his, his clothing and then whoop, throws it out as another icicle hits into the axe's side. Oh, so what's nice. the damage of Dichromancy, sorry? Dichromancy is the level of the spell plus his charisma mod. Oh, level of the spell, okay. Because I've got the crown right now, my charisma mod is plus four. Yeah, cool. No, I, th I thought you said it was level plus charisma. It's, it's the like... level of the spell. Yeah, yeah. So, Ayla, you're <clears> going <throat> to get an attack opportunity as is Smeek. Oh, the bow's running. Yep. Well, well it's, it's a bow. Flying. It goes uh, two legs. Bowing. <laughs> it's bowing Smeek away. misses. 25. 25 hits. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. 12 damage. 12 damage to the bow. Nice. Uh, that will break your streak for the fun time coin. Um, <laughs> the bow is going to jump back. I uh, will see if it's uh, rapid fire recharges. In fact, somebody else can roll this so we know it's fair. Uh, Re, roll a d6 for me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Six! Yay! Oh, he recharges his ability back. Great! Oh. <laughs> oh, you Always wear it, count. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 
Bless you, Ree. Bless you. I was so Bless excited you. about that. <laughs> Six. Oh, we're dead. Wait, I failed three things in a row, by the way. Oh. Two attacks and a saving throw. Did you? Yeah. When did you fail the saving throw? When you told me to make a saving throw. Oh, that's right. Throw. You can have the fun time coin. Fun time coin! Sorry. Okay. Inspiration. Inspiration. Your coin of inspiration. Um, it is going to do its rapid fire thing again. This yep. time uh, to Ayla, Smeek, and the goblin behind them. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Ree. Dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Smeek's no more special Smeek. than... Uh... That's a fail. I should have used my made. freaking coin. Thanks. Smeek succeeds. <laughs> as does the other goblin. But now oh, wow. I have to roll damage. Yeah, because half of... A lot is. Uh, I've only got seven Wait, health. what kind of damage is this? Piercing. Okay, so half. Uh, yeah, it's half for you. So it'd be 22 points of damage, half for you for 11. Uh, Smeek and the goblins are dead. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, Smeek! Wow, well, uh. didn't even make it past the first room. <laughs> I will, I will leave Smeek there in case Yay. anybody wants to use Spare the Dying on him. Just in case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, that's okay. The cabin's filled with goblins. Yeah, this is just six of them. You just get more, right? Yeah. And then... Magic. <laughs> we really goofed this one. Araya, the mace is going to come for you, and then Piri the axe is going to turn on you. Okie dokie. Uh, they don't get their charged attack, however, because they did not... Because we've got a healer, right? Uh, Piri, <laughs> 24 yeah, to hit. No. Araya, 21 to hit. Yep. So, Piri, you're going to take 14 points of slashing damage. Okie dokie. Araya, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Cool beans. Ow. Wham! These kind of animated weapons slam into you with an incredible force. Wait, do I um, not get an attack opportunity on the mace? Because it did yes, fly Yes, you You get an attack opportunity. Sweet! <laughs> no? It goes. Is it three? I mean, would you? Oh, you rolled a three? Yeah, I rolled a three rolled plus. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, roll, say it for the stats. Rolled three. I rolled nine. Uh, Ayla. Oh. Um, gonna hit the mace. Mace behind you. Yep. Twice. Uh, 22 to Hits. hit. Yep. And. 15 to hit. Hits. Oh, okay. Both cool. hit. Yay. Dexterity. Mace isn't quite as save. quick as the bow. Uh, 14 on its dex save. I think that just to make it. Um, <laughs> to be honest, your your weapon damage is going to kill this thing, I think. 10, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, 24. Jeez. That's both hits. Oh my god. And yeah. zap. It's on one hit. And, <laughs> and the zap. There's the lightning. Half of five. Half of five. It, it destroys it with the lightning blast. <laughs> so you smash this maze twice, and you watch as like the metal, uh, you know, fronds of it basically snap off. Oh. It's still hovering, like wavering in the air after two of these hammer blows, and then you just reach up with a hand, and you watch as its haft of wood just explodes into splinters oh, as it cool. drops to the ground. Um, can I move? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh. So you're moving up to the axe. Wait, you what goblins are goblin. still alive? Huh? There's the axe and the bow. No, the goblins. They're two. Oh, left? there's like two goblins left. <laughs> um. Man, we really, we really messed this one up. <laughs> cool. Is that the end of your Rayla? Uh. I believe it's a Ryan next, and then Perry, you are for Ryan's thing. But what you want? Actually, to can I wait? Sure. How much did I move? Like, you didn't move ten feet. Uh, wait, I'm gonna go. Uh, and can I go you over? You can go over a goblin. Yes, it's difficult I mean, terrain, so double uh, extra 25. Movement. Can I go here and just duck down and get some cover against this bow? Oh, so like in the corner of, of the room. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Fucking me up a bit. Yeah, you kind of like crouch down behind like this half half wooden column, this broken column. Araya. Cool. I'm going to move. Uh, yeah, like this way. Five. Yeah. That was your last charge for Guiding Bolt by the day, for the day. Okay, the cool. So you can't use that again. So I'm going to move. Here? Yep, behind me. Yeah, like that. Or maybe like there a little bit. Yep. I think. Yes. Cool. And then I'm gonna use my longbow and go for this boy. Okay, so you kind of like put the shield away, pull out the bow. Yeah, it's bow first bow! Bow first bow! It's, it's the battle we've been waiting for. It's 12. If she missed. Yeah. <laughs> Just thunk into the, into the stone walls behind it as the bow nimbly dodges out of the way. It shoots an arrow at your arrow. Piri. Uh, right. Robin hoods it. The one next to me with the ice on it. Mm hmm. I mean, if you if you superheat something that's really cold, that's more damage, right? Let's find out. Okay, because I've still got my produced flame, so I'm just gonna 
push that into the uh, axe as a bonus action. Sure. Um, uh, produce flame as a wet as an attack is an attack is an action. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but we can make it flavory. You can punch with the produce flame in your hands, and it's. Cool. Well, that's what I did last time. I still got it, yeah. but I'm still going to do that anyway. Sure. Because um, I can't. I, can I with like flurry flows? Can I attack multiple different so things? Yeah. All yeah. You can move in between attacks. Uh, if it's fourth level. So you oh. could like punch yeah, the axe good. a couple of yeah. times, yeah. and then if you destroy it, you could then run up to the bow and try and punch that. So flurry of blows, it isn't like something I do in one burst. It's, I could it do like two of them. extra attacks, but you can move in between your attacks. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm... It's like a cool thing that monks can do. Like you could run up, punch a goblin, then run up, punch another goblin, then run and punch another goblin, as long as you've got the movement to do it. And it's, it's wavering, is it, this axe? I mean, it looks pretty badly injured, yeah. All right, it injured. <laughs> Got cut some, it's bleeding. Yeah. Um, so all right, I'll, I'll do a flurry of blows. I'm going to punch so it point, once. And that's your bonus action to flurry as well. Uh, 11. Hit, uh, misses. It deflects, it kind of parries you. 21. Hits. Okay, so I'll do the damage with that one. Okay. Um, yeah, see if you destroy it first. Four damage. Nope. Still standing, uh, it's still hovering, I guess. Third attack. Yep. 17 plus six, Hits. 23. Yep. Uh, Eight damage. Nice. Still, still, still hovering. <laughs> You're kind of punching it. Your fists are kind of being deflected off its wide axe blades. I was hoping to be able to do stuff with this bow afterwards. 12, 18. Hits. And then four damage. Still hovering. Smacking it around. It just kind of bobs and weaves with you, but doesn't actually fall. God damn it. And with my movement, I'm going to move to the other side of the axe, so I'm further away from the rest of the group when the bow decides to go. Cool. The two goblins will now turn. Yay! On Come on, One. goblin boys. Go on, boys. They both miss. Aww. Four and a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nova. OK, this is probably not going to work but can I cast Dispel Magic on the bow? I don't know so, how yeah. to do it, because okay. I'm so really... So what you're going to do is you're going to roll a d20, and then you're going to add your Charisma modifier. Because I'm a bit confused by the wording of this. Oh, actually, no. What's your normal spell save DC? It's actually written into the monster. The third level or lower immediately cancels. No, what's your spell save DC? I know how the spell works. Spell but this is a, it's got a separate effect on these creatures. What was it? 15. 15, and it's a Constitution Charisma. 15, it fails. You watch as the bow just falls to the ground. Ah! It, like the, the magic goes away from it and it just bonk. Oh, the lightning as well. Yep. Oh, wow. Bam. Yep. I did a thing! Nice. Mm -hmm. Make me an arcana check. I'm clamping from inside this tiny hole. <laughs> You're like those kids that get stuck in like the tunnels, like the half tunnel. You're like halfway through it. Oh, yeah, I just realized I just backed up to this hole. I might have like, stood on your fingers a little bit. <laughs> 11. Should've yeah. For that. It's unconscious. It's, it, you destroyed it. Can I, can I shout out and be like, I don't know if that's it, you, gone you, forever. You, you're pretty sure you've got it. I'm, I'm still 19. not confident about that. I'm mad gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Nova's not very sure of herself. Lucius. Uh, I Nova would like to move, or bonus action. Um, can I just move so I'm just... Uh, We're going to take the break when uh, we finish just, this combat, basically. Ah. I, feel like I like how you've done this whole thing without like once coming into the room. Tucked yeah, there. They do. That. Well, she, she, cause she dispel magic. She I'm a long distance a boy. Yeah. yeah, I think she can see right. the bow from there. Uh, anyway. I'm just bleeding. I'm going to see what Nova attempted with the whole uh, pulling through the whole thing. So I'm going to back out the hole and yeah. lightning lure. Okay. At the axe. Oh, you got that too. At the axe. Yep. Do I need to make okay, a saving throw? <laughs> there goes Jesus. that one. Do I make a saving throw? What do I do? Uh, I am doing. Is a strength saving throw, please? Okay. It's pretty Thank strong. You. 23. <laughs> Failed. No. 16. So you, the lightning little lashes on, and you're like, I've got you now, axe. And you go to pull it, but it just yanks. You almost get pulled through it. Oh, and you have to, like, just, you kind of let go of the spell as you're almost pulled through into the wall. Cool. Um, this thing's very strong. Whatever magic is animating it is keeping it very, very strong. Uh, okay. At the top of the round, just uh, the axe there, still remains. Uh, it will go for Piri. Better not. Uh, 23. Nah. <laughs> you take six points of slashing damage. Oh, that's this axe that. slams into you. The bow does nothing. It seemingly is destroyed. Ayla. Seemingly. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the axe. Right. So you two. Charge. I don't trust it. Natural twenty on one. Nice. Is this uh, a reckless or is this normal? 
That was normal. Um, With your fucking crits, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll, roll, roll. for stats. Stats wants to know. Wait, so... You double so the dice. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Fourteen. See, that's Fourteen points bad. of damage from 14. the crit. Fourteen. And then the second attack... Was a miss, probably. Oh, was, what was it? Twelve. Yeah, that was a miss. Uh, but lightning damage... I rolled a eleven. That's a fail, so it only takes one damage there. So it took you fifteen. One. So it took fifteen points of damage, which is enough to kill it. Yay! There you go, stats. Destroy. Bam. And with that, we'll take our break. Put the bow. Check out NordVPN okay. in the break. Check out NordVPN. Do the voice. Use and the power. Do it. Do it. There you go. Now. <laughs> nice. Get to see NordVPN. Patreon.com nice. slash high rollers. We'll see you in five minutes. D &D. We'll be back.
Welcome back to High Rollers. The party have just vanquished, or have they, a number of oh. animated weapons within an antechamber in the Midwife's Forge. Uh, after a little battle, many goblins lay dead. Mm -hmm. um, we did decide that Nova would immediately spare the dying on Smeek. Um, so he is stable, but unconscious. Great. Uh, the other goblins are dead. <laughs> <laughs> there are three goblins, including unconscious Smeek, left. <laughs> um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, Can I check that this bow isn't going to get back up again? How would you like to check that? Prod it with my foot. You'll have to make your way up there. You will quite okay. climb up this kind of gravel, because you can see that it, what appears to be um, the ceiling collapsed and has kind of formed like this sloped platform that leads up to it. Whatever, there was obviously some sort of room above you uh, that once led down here, but all the co columns and things have collapsed. There do appear to be several like ladders, it looks like, like hastily built ladders um, strewn about. In which case, can I change my plan and perhaps is, was, is Varric around? Vezic, is he, is he around? You can ask for him. You look around, he's not immediately there. Uh, we have some more goblins, please! We need a yeah. refill, we really goofed this up. You hear from very far back, like, What have you done with all my goblins? It hey. was a bow! <sighs> Alright, hang on. You may have four more goblins. Yay! <laughs> you don't ask, you don't get. You just come teetering down the hallway. Yeah, you literally like you hear like you hear like a like basvak balandam bugas. I don't think this is right. Can I go and get this ladder? And Can we not just prop it up. These poor little goblins to their slaughter. Here. Hmm? What? And walk up. And That's all we're doing. We're massacring poor little green goblins. They don't know any better. Go on then. I mean, they Make an attack roll. You have advantage. Oh, attack roll? Yeah. Make an attack roll. You're, you're, you're kicking the, the boat, oh, I just right? wanted to nudge it. Oh, you just nudge it. Oh, okay, yeah, you nudge it. Nudge what? What's going on? The boat. The oh, boat. okay. Sorry, two things were going on at once. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> I get confused when one thing is going on. Tom! Ah! Ah. Uh, where am I? <laughs> doesn't, doesn't move. Come on! Goblins, go back. Go on, go back to your master. No. Wait, why are we sending them back? No. We, we're going to need them when we go Bring against the guardian. They're going to last a second, like the these. That's fine. Little That's the second that we don't get they... killed. I'm sorry. How many times did you get shot by the magic bow? Um, none, because I hid behind this. Uh, yes, little you blocking. hid. Yes, excellent. But I did. Let's go. Hurt the things, but alas, I don't think the goblins helped us. Well, but I mean, they were slaughtered. They're, but they're distracted. Uh, Vezik's using us as father. A life is a distraction. I'm, I, I'm doing no such thing. I mean, we are working in partnership. It doesn't sound like a partner. You're, you're back there. We're in here. Yes, you're using my knowledge. Great. If it was an equal partnership, you'd be here with us. I didn't say it was an equal partnership. It's just a partnership. That's why we're calling it out for what it is. Mm. Fair. <laughs> Wait, echo. Uh, yeah, it's like... Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to keep the goblins by me. Okay, fine. Well, I'm just saying, we, we might need them when the Guardian is so shooting everyone. Question. So that we don't. Can anyone heal? No. Heal? So no. Have we got anything? No. I got cool. a couple of potions. Would you like you can a take a short rest. I think oh. we should take a short rest. short rest. I don't think we should stay in the room with these animated... Uh, They're destroyed. I would wonder about that bow. I don't trust the bow. It would just take some more corrupted lightning to empower it again. Well, why don't you just whack it a couple times, Ayla, and just be done with it? I would it, maybe... It's, it's intact, but you could break it. I would maybe break the bow. Yeah. I'll break the bow then. Okay, give me an attack roll, with advantage. Break the bow. 17. 17. Um, it's unconscious. Yeah, I'll say that it hits. Do critical hit damage. As if you rolled a crit. I guess because it's damned, uh, it's yeah. Caught. Hang on. That's a fucking one, so two. Six damage. Wow. Honestly, kill me. This <laughs> to be fair, it can't actually, I thought it might wake up if you hit it, and it doesn't actually say that it does. It's just unconscious for one minute, so you can just keep whacking. Can I just whack it? You just keep whacking until it's broken, and you yeah. whack it. Uh, for future reference, for Nova, you judge watching this going down. The dispel magic you su like you, su you suspect suppressed its ability for a minute. It basically put it to sleep, and then Ayla whacked it until it was destroyed. 
Okay, shall we move forward? Should we keep going? Or? I was just wondering, should we get Skeldy to join us? Or have a short rest? Or? Skeldy's currently still with the bodies part of the wagon. Yeah. Somebody needs to stay with the bodies, I guess. Well, it's just she's a healer. You take a short rest, though. But let's take a short rest. I think it's safe. Please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a short rest. I'll, uh, I, take I'll a I think Perry took a fair bit of damage. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a I'll keep watch. I'm okay. It's only an hour, so. I'm actually out of hit dice. I'm going to go look for a ladder and see if we can. Oh, you already <laughs> did that. <laughs> You look over, Ayla's already like on nice. top looking down with a ladder placed up against it. In mind? Um, I'm going to try and play with the goblins. What, what are you going to play? Uh, just Tag. create lots, lights and things like that. And, and just uh, make them chase off. Oh my god, now I roll well! Yeah. Yay! You need a uh, the goblins chase around yeah. and the lights Good. for a little bit of time, but they um, kind of quickly grow bored arm, of it. And then they start just like lo looking around the room. Some of them are picking up broken bits of the old weapons. And swinging them around. Um, I'm just going to back off then. Yeah. You, Vezic probably makes his way, sensing that the danger has passed, makes his way and kind of joins you, just standing with you. Um, as we, I guess mm. people are waking up and we're getting ready to do the next bit, mm. um, I'm going to talk to okay, Lucius. Okay. Hello. Um, Lucius, when we go into this next bit with the forge, were you paying attention to the whole reset process, by the way? Yes. Okay. I need you to do something. I need you... I wasn't listening. Yeah. Maybe I should ask Oriah. I can do the, 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 the synchronized twisting. I was going to ask you to put the power source back in. Oh. Mm. 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 What would you feel more comfortable doing? Well, I'll do it. I can do it. You have to put it in very carefully and make sure it's secure. Right. Well... When I was with Daddy, he always used to make me put my his uh, exotic hand-me-down weapons on a display mm -hmm. at the end of the year, so that all the families that came around to our mansion would see them gleaming. So, and I, I had to do them very, very delicately, not a single scratch. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've had. And were they secure? Oh yes. Okay. Now, did you have to do this while a guardian was trying to attack you? Uh, I was attacked verbally. And traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is super important. Oh, I know the under I understand yeah. the gravitas of the situation. So I'm gonna give you the star. Okay? Oh, it's real. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, this is. I'm happening. not sure I can contain this. No, okay. I'm, I'm struggling now. Anxiety's building. Okay, but I really need you. Oh, to look, I'm shaking. Uh, would yeah, you rather do something else? Us. Yes. Okay, what would you rather do? I'll look after the goblins. Okay, I'm gonna go elsewhere then. Are you sure? Well, Because uh, I believe in you, Lucius. Oh, thank Maybe you, that's very bit, lovely. Bit like... uh, but I don't believe in myself. Okay. Given looking at the... Araya! Hello? Hi. <laughs> Sorry to wake you up. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, it's fine. You know the part where you have to put the power source back into the into the forge and do it really securely, I think was the word Vezic used. Yes. And and safe and not die and, and you know, probably get attacked by a golem loads. Yeah. Do you think you could do that? Are you, are you sure you want, want me to do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I trust you, you were my first choice. <laughs> um, okay, if, if I'll do my best, I'm, it's a big, it's a big job, are you sure? Yeah, because I'm going to be working the consoles, um, Ayla's going to be working the other console. Lucius wants to look after the goblins. I, think I look after the goblins. It's very, it's very good of you. Yeah, I, I think you'd be perfect. I will, I will, I'll take it, I'll do it. Okay, I'll pass you the star fragment. <gasps> so, right, this is your first time seeing it, I think. Yeah. You, what Nova hands you is this long, slender metal tube of strange, dull grey metal, not like one you've seen before. There is a glass window in its center, and it looks like you unlock it by twisting it and then sliding it open. And inside there is being held by a lattice of metal. There is a diamond. Although you wouldn't recognize it as a diamond, when you first look at it, it looks like a star, like a blazing star in the night sky. It's radiating magic. Um, but you can see that at its, at its core, it's a pure diamond, the purest of pure, and it's radiating magic. Oh wow, I just like, I look at it and I just look, immediately shut it, wide-eyed. 
Okay. Not to add any intensity to this situation, but what you're holding in your hands is a literal lifeline to our dearest friend. So if you oh, could wow. treat it with the utmost respect and <coughs> do a, the best job you can, we'd very much appreciate it. Well, I've, I've heard how much she means to you. It's, uh, it's an honor, honestly, to do this. Um, I'll do my best and be extremely careful. I'm sure you will. Never wouldn't you choose you word. first otherwise. As you guys are finishing up the short rest, you see little Smeek, his eyes flicker open. <laughs> he like looks down, checks himself, and he just seems to get kind of sad. He's like, ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. And he kicks a rock. Oh, he's not he dead. He gets up. <laughs> yeah, he's sad he's not dead. He wanted to, he's, yeah, he wants to die. He wants to go to Valhalla. He wants to come back as a, as a bigger goblin. Uh, but yeah, he kind of like gets up and like looks around. He's like, bah, bah, bah. like picks up a rock. Like probably <laughs> hits himself in the head with it. Oh my God. He's like, ah. <laughs> so shiny, so chrome. Um, Vezik, kind of looming in the back of the corridor, is like, So, are you ready? It's up there. Sure. And he gestures to the large double doors that Ayla can now see in this other platform. That leads into the forge. Okay, me first, doing the console. You next, doing the other console. Araya third, doing the power source. And then both of us together. What am I Turning doing? the key. Stopping us from get, uh, dying. Do you want to do the key thing? If I'm doing the... I mean... Yeah. I think Vezik should do one of the keys. Mm. Vezik, are you actually going to come in there with us or...? Very well. But I will not engage in combat. Like I said, my weapon will cause... collateral damage. Right. But I'm happy to remain behind, and if you become stuck on the process, or if you are struggling with one of the command nodes, I can obviously give you some verbal assistance. But okay. the manual override is near the entrance. I will remain near that. Is that the one that I have? You to will need to pull it. Okay. Very well. Okay. Okay, team. If you guys take your miniatures off and take the goblins off, please. Oh. Oh my. So we've got four gobbos. Four. And sneak. And sneak. So five gobbos. Oh. Yes. And uh, and Vezik. <laughs> and uh, and all of us. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Did um did Vezik see the handover mm. of the power source? I don't know, did he? He might have. He was in the room. Wow. Yes, it's also that's mega light as well. Oh. So So this is the arena? The forge. Oh this my god. He's done a really cool map, which means it's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. I love the um, forgey bits. Yeah. yeah. Cool, right? Uh, pass me Piri. I don't like the size of the dwarf goddess. Yeah, can you have you got a different mini? Yeah. Nope. Uh, this <laughs> one with the hammer is gonna be Vezik, and then place your five goblins in front of you. Sneak. Immediate death. Sneak would be in front of Ayla. Yeah. Where? There's limited space. And then I'll describe, yeah. Just place them down and then I'll describe what you see. See what you see. We'll just, we'll just scatter see what around. you see. Scatter them around. That's cool. So. Where'd you get that console? Maybe I bought it specifically for this. Two of them died, so we have four. I want, I want it to be, I want some it's fights to be very cool. Spoiling us. I am spoiling you. So, what you see, the open, the large stone doors that lead from the antechamber, um, they open up and lead into a long, worked stone corridor. Nova, there are elements here which seem familiar to you. Uh. Not the same, but familiar. Lines of blue, dull crystal make their way through the rooms, along the floors, along the walls. The stone here is remarkably clean the lines expertly, sharply cut, almost impossibly so. There is no flaw present. This is, the, this is the work of such skilled artisanship that is this near perfection. As you enter the main chamber, you see rising up before you a large statue of a dwarven woman hammer in one hand, chisel in the other, pointing towards you. There are, There is a large, round, the best way to describe it would be 
a, a cons a table upon which there are multiple runes as well as one large twisted lever um, that appears to kind of rotate in place. There is also another single smaller lever built into the very front of the console itself and then runes and buttons and crystals inlaid around the edges. The room then expands out and you can see that there is a large section in the middle encased within a stone cube. Um, kind of a perfect stone cube is being formed around. There are lines drawn into the ground which seem to indicate that those that, that cube will come apart. Um, it's like almost like uh, tracks in the ground of where something would be moved along. At the very far back of the room, you can see that there is a platform that leads up onto a uh, platform overlooking the rest of the room. Huge stone columns rising up to the ceiling with torches, giving off a very, very faint white light. And then there is a large semicircular console which seems to look down on the rest of the room. Um, as you all step in, and you, your lights or the dancing lights of Lucius's magic and the dull lights of the, of the forge itself illuminate the space, you watch as this giant statue... Great. <laughs> and you watch as black lightning crackles up and down it. Its eyes open with a dark purple flame. Intruder detected. Intruders detected. Roll initiative. Oh, oh damn. damn. This is cool. Oh, now I roll a natural 20. Great. <laughs> so, Ayla. 24. 24. Piri. Uh, 19. 19. What? Uh, no, 19 as well. 19 as well. How are you wrong? Lucius. In 14. Three times in a row. Uh, 19 as well, Araya. You rolled a 16. Yeah. Plus three. Yeah. We'll have Piri, <laughs> we'll have Piri go first because you went first last what time. What is your actual dex score? Plus three. Plus three. But I mean, what number? 16. Damn it, okay. So yeah, you're exactly the exactly same. same. I thought you could have been 15. Uh, the goblins will want to go, go at 10. Um, Vezik is here, but he I'll roll an initiative for him, but I don't think he's really going to be doing much in the combat. Just Thanks, Vezik. Us. Is he not having to run towards the the uh, keys? Well, not the keys, but he's the activation. Oh, right. Uh, Ayla, you are the first to react. You can see that this thing... And it's about to kind of come towards you. Um, so this is the console that I have to... Yeah, Vezik will quickly basically shout like, Yes, yes, this is the manual override. We cannot let it come too close. It will, res it will, it will disrupt the whole process. Okay. You, Air Ganassi, the, the, the larger console at the back. That's the main command console. Got it. Can I then... Oops, please. Go... to the side. Yes. Um... And... I guess just... I'm gonna. Oh, I can't go too far, but I can't get let her get to the thing. So. At I'm, the moment, it looks like it's scanning because the, there's so many targets. It's scanning the line. Yep. Yeah, so. I'm trying to look really inoffensive. Like. What I'm gonna do <laughs> is not that it matters, but I'm just like mm -hmm. dash to the side mm -hmm. and prepare myself. If she comes near me, I will. Attacker okay. twice. So you kind of drop into like a combat stance? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of like stand, scans over, looks over the rest of everybody else. Uh, that is A. Let's go. Piri. Um, I will go to the side with uh, Ayla as well. And I guess, can I just have one ping at it? Just shoot so one? You just sunbolt it? Uh, I guess I can do that twice. You I can do it twice. Well. You might as well. Um, and my intention is to, I'm like yelling at it, like, hey, this way. Hey, this way, this way, over here. Over here. Yep. Uh, 19 and 23. Both hit. Hey. So you, so Piri, you're, it's like flame bolts, right? Because we kind of reflavored it yeah, to be less my radiant. Sun bolts it's like, I'm you're like out. throwing fire out of your hands. Yeah. So three plus three, six, two plus three, five. So 11 damage. Could one of them mm -hmm. be a um, thingy? A stunning strike, I stunning believe, strike. has to be a melee attack. Melee weapon attack. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay. Can't be so your sun like bolt, sadly. Nerve pinch. Yeah, it's like a nerve pinch. I want a nerve pinch with my fire. Well, the fire just <laughs> hits it. So you watch as this the statue. It's currently facing away from you, or kind of on its side. One blast hits it in the face, and the second catches it in the arm. 
yeah. violent activity detected. Yeah, turns, you suck! <laughs> and takes a first step towards this way. <laughs> it. Uh, Araya. Um, I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike on myself. Mm -hmm. And then... It's your bonus action, right, for Zephyr yeah. Strike. Nice. And I'll give myself an extra 30 oh, feet of movement and then move uh, out here. So it's five. So it's going to go Araya, the Attendant, and then Nova. 20, 20, um, sorry, 20. Lucius, actually. So it's Araya, Lucius, so your next trot. I'm just going to move out of the way. Oh, so you're going around the opposite I'm going around the other way. Two. Okay, yeah. nice. And then just that's it? That's it, yeah. Okay, Lucius. Come on, little goblins. Follow me. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. 25. Yep. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Mm. That's an 18. Yeah, the goblins will do what you say. So on their turn, they're going to follow you. Excellent. Okay, is that all you're doing? Can I tell them not to attack? Uh, no. Yeah. Itty. Yep. Sure. <laughs> no. Okay. You're like, no, this way, this way, follow me, no attacking. Does that count as a bonus action? No, I mean, that's, I'd say that that's just, yeah, your action is like you basically commanding them to follow you and not attack. Okay. Okay. That's me. Okay, no bonus actions. All right, the attendant itself. Oh, it's really getting up in our yeah. space. Yeah, well, basically, it's kind of, she's like, she's a big boy. Um, she kind of stands between you and Ayla. Your ready in action will go off. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, Ayla, so you get to attack. She readied it if it came near you. Wow. Was that 2-1? No, it was 1-1. One, oh. one. And... Uh, Don't forget you can spend the coin. You just need to declare it before you roll. You got the 16. coin. But have fun, that, coin. 16 hits. Okay. Yep. 6 damage. 6 damage. Mm -hmm. So you cleave into it with the Howling Gale, and as the hammer hits it, it just reverberates. You hear like almost like hitting the side of a mountain or a castle. Oh. <laughs> Rattles all the way through your arms. Yeah. Ooh. It kind of <laughs> um, and you just hear this kind of, again, this kind of very soft but very autonomous female voice, just like, your attacks will be ineffective. Leave this place now. And then it begins to bring something down. Uh -oh. It strikes down at Ayla and Piri, one with the hammer and then one with the chisel, uh, as it comes down on the two of you. So against Ayla, that is a 25. And then against Piri is a 16. Oh, exactly. Ah, that's unfortunate. Damn. Uh, Did so, I get the hammer or the chisel? So you got the chisel. Yeah. So Ayla, you're going to take 15 bludgeoning, and then two lightning reduced to one because you're resistant to lightning now. So 16 points of damage. Um, you also cannot take reactions until the end, until the start of your next turn. Um, so things like attack of opportunity and stuff like that. Oh right, okay. Uh, uh, little Piri, you take nine points of bludgeoning damage and three points of lightning damage, so twelve total. Okay. As you're kind of slammed in the chest, you manage to bring your arms up to deflect this chisel from impaling your chest, but the lightning scars down your arms. Oh. Um, and then it stops moving. Okay. So after the attendant, it goes to Nova. Nope, sorry, the goblins. The goblins will do as they were ordered and just kind of begin swarming around Lucius. Vezic like, will puppies, stand. Puppies, but way more gross. It's like Pikmin. <laughs> Farty little puppies. Oh, they're in shit. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just kind of like looking up at you like, ah. Great job, all of you. <laughs> Nova. Um, can I move as far as I can, so it's, um, dash is an action, right? Dash is an action, um, yeah. So can I move 60 feet towards the console going the right? 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And before I do that, can I cast Hexblade, cur Hex Hexblade Curse sure. on, um, the on the statue. golem? Yeah. yeah, sure. Yep, done. So as okay. it stands now, everyone but me and Ayla are on the uh, right-hand side of the yes. ring. Yes, and it is now Ayla. Cool. You'll go. Bad. <laughs> and you can tell that the, the machinery here seems dull. There's there's no life to it. There's no hum of power. There is no sound of anything moving. Apart from the Guardian. Yeah. Um, so start of your turn, you get your reactions back. Cool. Um, I guess I'm just gonna... Um, can I skirt around so I'm still just like here? Yeah. So, so I'm you and Perry on either to, side of it. Mm -hmm. To the the console mm -hmm. and 
Ugh, I don't really want to hit it. I don't know. Can you do anything defensive? Okay, everybody can take the defensive, uh, the total defense action or dodge action, I think it's called. Dodge it's an action. action. Yeah. Any attacks against you have disadvantage. Can I do that? Can I just be defensive just sure. now yeah. until Nova? Because I want to be in a position where I can get to this. Get console. to this thing. Sure. So you're going to take the dodge action. So any attacks against you remind me I have disadvantage. Piri. Uh, I was going to do the same, but I'm going to use uh, a key point to make it a bonus action. Uh -huh. Patient defense. So I'll do two attacks. Yep. With my standard, uh, seven and a six plus six, so 13. 13 misses. And then, yeah, 12 will miss as well. Yep. So neither hit, and then so I'll... You do hit, because it's such a large creature made of stone. And it's this very kind of voluptuous, curvaceous dwarven woman. It's a beautiful statue, like Michelangelo-esque in its detail, but it's completely come to life and it's bearing down on you. You punch her in the thigh, and it's just like, you just hit rock. You're like, ah, and then you swing again, your kind of magically enhanced fist connecting but doing no effect. Damn it. Um, and yeah, then I'll do patient defense. So one key point. And so I'm dodge action. Dodge. Raya, you'll go. Um, let's see. So uh, I've got to put the power source into the forge itself. Which part do I need to put the power source into? You don't know at this no. point. Oh, OK. I think I might just stay where I am. Um, yeah, you could hold your action if you tell me that you're waiting for something to happen. Yeah. So when I know the forge is open, I'll move towards that. Okay, that's your ready to action. Cool. Nice. Uh, then we have Lucius. I'm going to cast Lucius's Luscious Light. That's uh, going to get the 20 foot radius. So can I just okay. get the spaces that sure. encompass her? Yep. That just happens. Okay. Do I roll an effect or is that at the start of her turn? Uh, it's at the end of your turn. You yep. would Any creature that starts the turn there takes two to six cold mm -hmm. and if you end your turn there, it's a dex saving throw. Okay. 2d6 acid. Okay. Otherwise, it's blinded. Okay. Right now. Oh, it's blinded. Just now. Great. Yeah. It's, 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 you watch as this sphere of blue and orange light erupts near to Piri and Ayla, but not quite enc encompassing you. And it encompasses the statue. You can occasionally see her arm and things poking out of it, but you just hear like visual, visualization disabled, unable to locate targets. And it's, Smashing around. Get out of there! Uh, after Lucius, that's a, that's a it is the attendant's one. go. Um, so at the start of its turn, it takes what? Uh, it's cold 2d6. Roll it. One. Two. <laughs> three. Three, points so three, three points of damage. Does that count as your um, two bad rolls? Would it? Uh, no, no, it's uh, damage, damage rolls. No, no, it doesn't count for damage roll. You still did something. Um, Dichromatic would work with it. Its intelligence is pretty stupid. Yeah, it would, yeah. It's yeah. cold damage, isn't it? Seven points. Seven points. Because it's the third level, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Man, I can exactly You hear it. something horrific going on inside. You can hear like the creature kind of making noises, but um, how intelligent is this thing? Let's make a check for it. Not that smart. It's going to stay where it is. <laughs> Instead, it's going to try and make two attacks, both with disadvantage mm -hmm. against uh, Piri and Ayla. So Ayla. That was a natural 20 on one, a three on the other one. So that's Oi. only an 11 to hit. Yep. Misses, and then Piri, natural 20 on no. one, and a nine on the other one, no joke. So that is a oh, total wow. of 17. Oh, both hit. No, no it's, it's not two one. attacks, it's, it's one attack with disadvantage. Yeah, I know. So 17, <laughs> it's just one <laughs> hit. <laughs> oh, Piri. Oh, both hit. Uh, <laughs> so that's gonna be 13. I'm dead. 13 piercing, <laughs> and then two lightning damage. You go down. No, no. 15. God damn, that's uh, bad though. 13 plus 2, yeah, 15. That is bad. That's pretty bad. Okay. So even though you're ready or dodged, this thing swings so wildly and unexpectedly, you just don't have time to move out of the way. And it swings with such force, it kind of carves the chisel into the ground, and then the bunch of stone that it flings up, and the lightning in its body kind of hits you in the chest, sending you flying back. That's pretty kick ass, I'll take that. <laughs> Nova. At the end of its turn, by the way, I have to make a save. Yes, dex. Two. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Two. Oh, eight damage. Eight oh, points of damage. Nice. Acid. You hear like this kind of bubbling noise coming from inside. I assume my Dichromancy only works one per turn. Yes, it's when you cast the spell. Right. That's the way Dichromancy works, okay, when so you cast a spell. So any lingering effects on like the second round and stuff, it doesn't have an effect on. Yeah. Nova. How far away from the console? So five, in fact you can go like five, ten, 
15, 20, 25. You'll basically, you can get there within one move. And then, yeah, can I start yeah. looking at this manual override? Guessing it's in common? Uh, so you're going to try and locate a manual override? Uh, sorry, what is it? <laughs> no, I need Tell to, me what you're doing. I need to initiate the purge system. Okay, you will need to make an arcana check. Looking down, there are a number of arcane symbols. There are crystals with different lights. This is an arcana check to try and figure out how you activate this particular system. And would like my ability to read all languages help at all? Like... I'll give you advantage. Okay. Yeah. It is written, the, the, it's not really in writing, but there are symbols which your eldritch-like power, Tiangong helps convert. It's almost like Tiangong is just helping tell you what does what. Translator. Kind of, yeah. So yes, mm -hmm. with written languages. It's not really this is a language, it's more yeah. these are functions, but he's helping you, or they are helping you figure out what's what. So Arcana with advantage. Wow! Oh my god. I'm taking those two as my bad rolls, because I roll a three and a two. Okay, it's one check. Even You have advantage, but it's one check. So you mm -hmm. failed one check. It doesn't count as both two. It's not failed rolls. Okay. It's but that's a ten in total. A ten in total? Yep. Even understanding it, this is such a complex device that you're not sure what is what, and there are a number. Clearly, there are a number of subsystems based here. Um, I can you roll a d4, please? Oh, here we go. Four. Four. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Three. I'm going to take my lucky coin now. Thank you. That's just one. That's because I've rolled three. That, I've rolled three. It's not bad three bad roll. dice rolls. It's three failed checks or attacks. So you failed the Arcana check <laughs> and you failed the saving throw. So it's not just dice I'll rolls. I'll the next thing. It's fine. Yeah, that's I'm sure you will. Uh, you feel your that's body. Game in it. <laughs> you watch as you kind of beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, and then you feel this kind of pulse of magic, but it only hits you. It kind of blasts you around the console, and you feel your body freeze up. Alpha. Oh, Damn. That's um. You're paralyzed. Bad news, bad. Uh, after Nova, we go back up to Ayla at the top of the round. Nova, what's happening? God <laughs> damn it! Can I see her from here? Mm -hmm. That she's just frozen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, not invisible. Yeah, because she's kind of over the room, so you, you you can see Nova at this console, just like, and you see this flash of magic, and then Nova is just frozen in place. Um. Damn. I'll do it. Mm, someone needs to help Nova. Who is closer than me? I might um, be able to. Okay. You can run, can't you? Well, I might be able to hold my turn. Your yeah. dice back. You um, need someone with magical understanding. It's not me. I have a plus uh, seven, but I just roll bad. It's gonna happen. I guess I'm just gonna. So she's still blinded by this. And currently, while the cre while the attendant is in the sphere, blinded. Okay. As long as Lucius maintains concentration. What happens if you back away from a blinded creature? Still gets the attack, but is at disadvantage. Right. Okay. Good to know. Um, I will just continue. I will hit Stay her twice. Okay. I'll hit her twice. Sure. Um, yeah, you know where she oh. is enough that you can roll. That was a shit roll, but okay. That was also. Pretty shit. Don't forget, you got the coin. Um, you got to spend I know, it before you roll it. I forgot about it. Put it like in front of you. Yeah, there you go. Um, so that's um, like a 12 to hit for one of them, which is no, that's gonna hit. be a miss. And a 17. That hits. So you swing the hammer into the sphere of light. I forgot to rage. What you, have, you have not raged so far. Uh, but full damage though. Bam. 14. Bam. I hear this kind of crack as the hammer slams into the sphere of light and you pull it out before the, the ice and the acid begin to pull at your weapon. Um, yeah, you, just, you don't see the effect, you just hear this enormous crack. Uh, Piri. Um, while it is in there, I'm going to, I need to get away from it, but mm -hmm. I could disengage, yeah. but yeah. I kind of also want to stun it. It's a hard one. Uh, it looks quite constitution-y, doesn't it? It is made of stone. If this if this attack, um, okay. he's on not many hit points. Oh, God. yeah, you're risking it, boy. Yeah, but how long does a stun work last? I think it's the end of a. Go. It's until this. Oh, it's stunned it? until the end of my next turn. Yeah. 
There's not much point, to be honest, if it's this far away. Yeah, I'll disengage then. So key point to disengage as a bonus? Or just as an action. Oh, you're just going to take it as an action um, and do your normal move? Then I'll back up. Where do you want to go? Down here? Yeah, yeah, just, um, I guess... 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 you can go? 45. 45. Yeah. And basically and get onto the stairs. With my bonus action, I'll drink my potion. Okay. A uh, regular potion of healing, 2d4 plus 2. I'll roll that for you. That is a 5, 6, 7. It'll do. 7 HP. That's Piri's go, Araya. Cool. Um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Sense on it. Okay. And see if it's got any vulnerabilities, resistances, and if it's not hidden from divination magic. Sure. I will tell you a bunch of information. Please do. So you know it is immune to the following effects. Yes. Poison. Poison. Psychic damage. Weapon attacks from non-magical sources. Okay, that's me gone then. Uh, charmed. charmed. It cannot be charmed, it cannot be exhausted, it cannot be frightened, it cannot be paralyzed, it cannot be petrified, and it cannot be poisoned. I cannot write this fast stunned. enough, but that's pretty much sure. It technically can be stunned. <laughs> That's probably like the only thing it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it is a creature made of stone, um, and it is not a living thing. It's a set, it's, it is not a, a living creature. Uh, you also know that its shape cannot be altered in any way. It is immune to any spell or effect that would alter its form. Oh. Yeah, it's polymorphic. Uh, it's expended anyway. Cool. Yep. Cool. Okay, anything else? Um, Move. And then I'll cast Slayer's Prey on it as a bonus action. Okay. I do have my magic rapier, so I can Okay, nice. That. Yeah, you can do that. Sweet. Okay, so that's Araya. Just in case. Um, Lucius. Um, I see no we cannot one. simply just keep hitting it. It will repair itself. You need to get on with repairing the forge. Stay here, goblins. Stay safe. Okay. I'm going to fly. Okay, so you can fly 60 feet. I'm going to fly as far as I can towards Nova. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 Can I use 30. the spaces? 35, like go direct. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm just counting the distance. I think, I think yeah, you can basically get it. You're like on top of the continent. Nova. <laughs> Paralyzed. That, does that count as my movement? That's your movement, yeah. I don't know what to do about her, but you can I'm have gonna, a go at the console. Like try you, the console. Lucius, looking down, you didn't think you knew about this stuff. This isn't that different to Ethereum technology. There's a lot of stuff here that airships function on. The command console here is not too dissimilar to how an airship's console looks. You can attempt it, it's an arcana check. All right. Wish I had a coiny. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Um, 16. 16. You look down and you recognize a couple of arcane symbols, things that just innately speak to you through your sorcerer connection. You hit them in order and you hear this kind of hum and a pulse echoes through the room. Something's happened. Nova, you immediately are unparalyzed. Thank you. Oh. Your luscious light is immediately Going. gone. It's oh, dispelled it's automatically. Spell, yeah. Any active spell, so spells, are gone. Would so your mean? stuff doesn't affect it. Hexblade Hex curse, curse is fine. Yep, that's fine. That stays. Your stuff stays. Does it? But luscious is light. Yeah, it's not a spell technically. Well, it's an ability. Cool. So, yeah. So Luscious Light and the Paralysis, the whole monster on Nova is gone. Okay. Um, and you hear this kind of voice emanate from the Guardian. Cleansing protocol complete. That's one. All right, next up. Okay, that was Lucius's turn. Uh, uh, it's an action to do the, the commands. Unless take you over Nova, I, uh, what do we do next? The attendant uh, sensing this uh, will Turn around. So we get like the Apple Mac sound. <laughs> it's actually, Ayla, you're going to get an attack of opportunity. Okay. So it's going to go. Oh, oh Lord. It starts she make, it's like. <laughs> oh, it's not super quick. Oh, no, it's very Lord, slow. Oh, Lord. She coming. Oh, Lord. 15. Hits. Okay. I didn't get my oh. because of y'all. So, Ayla. 11. 11 points? Yeah. Again, as it's passing, you crack it in the back and you watch as part of a braid of her hair just snaps off. And as it hits the ground, the stone evaporates into dust and smoke. Oh. And then you watch as it begins growing back on the statue. Oh. Oh. Um, That's bad. Nova. Sorry, the goblins, they do exactly as they're told. They just kind of huddle up in the corner. And they start just... Nova. Nice. Um, Ayla, you're up next with a manual override! Tell me which one I need to 
What do I need to do? Ask Bezik! He's right there! Anything else, Nova? Uh, so she's coming towards Ungish and she's falling apart, right? Well, no, well falling not. apart and then coming she's back. She seems like completely group. unscathed. Uh, everything we've done. Every damage you've done is like slowly repairing on her. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast invisibility on both myself and Lucius. Okay, you both vanish from sight. Interesting. Um, probably won't work, but yeah. you don't know. Let's just try it. Sure. Um. That's your turn. And then yeah, I guess I can't really in action because that's my. Okay, Ayla. I'm gonna go to the console. Vezik is like, yes, 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 Which strong one. one? <laughs> the large one in the center, rotate it. Okay, I will rage. Yep. So, so you kind of grip this double-handed, yep. you know, turntable, and you watch as the lightning begins crackling down your arms as your muscles tense. Athletics check. I'm using the coin. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. coin. Yeah. Advantage. Wait, I already had advantage. Then Damn it! No. <laughs> Give me the coin oh. back. I already had advantage because I'm raging. More advantage. I'm raging. Triple advantage. Oh, that's cocked. Mega cocked. That's the same exactly. roll twice. Wow. Pretty good though. What is it? What? Athletics. Athletics. Um, so 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 23. You begin turning and it's incredibly stiff and your muscles tense. Ayla's like hair crackles with lightning. As it begins to rotate, the actual uh, room itself begins to slowly shift. Oh, oh the... The cube is opening up. The cube begins opening up. Oh, oh cool. That's cool as shit. Piri, you have to jump back as it almost crushes you as part of it. Ah, crap. Kind of like slides back. And this you see this large circular uh, chamber, like no forge you've ever seen, um, opens up into the center. Um, yeah. Okay, jump That's the your next person. Piri. Uh, Use the goblins if you need them. So I'm now behind this wall. It's no yeah. got no access to me. Yeah, it is like about ten feet high, so you can like climb up on top of it and over um, it. Can I like, can I go round like off the stairs to the side? Yeah, here? you can jump, do that as well. Because what I want to do. What is this middle bit? Is it just a whole? It's thing? floor. Oh, it's floor. Okay. okay. Uh, five, like recessed ten. floor. Yeah, it's okay. like a slightly recessed okay. floor. So it's not lava. No. I just wanted to know. I'm not that a cool. drop. I did consider making it lava for a short period of time. Okay, uh -huh. I'm going to run Save that for behind the screen. Yeah. to it. Yes. Um, do two regular attacks. Yes. Uh, and with the intention of stunning. Okay, have you got, is this like key points? Because like, it's a key point person. Well, right? I mean, is it, it's on a hit, isn't it? Yeah. So oh, yeah, I'll yeah, that's see true. See if I hit first. Arms are sweaty, monster. 16 plus 16 six, hits. so 22 and then yep. seven, uh, 13. 13 doesn't hit, 16 okay. does. I guess I'll do the damage. Six plus three, so nine damage, why not? Yep. Um, and then uh, I'll spend a key point. Throw. Yeah, constitution. DC? 14. 15. Oy! Okay. So you reach up, and it just thread detected. Oh, okay. And it begins reaching down towards And then I'll use another key point to bonus action disengage. Uh, do you have movement left? Yeah. Yeah, 15. Okay, yeah, so you just like, nope, and then you just start <laughs> running away. Um, cool. Okay, so I, number three, power source. Uh, Vesic, where do I put the um, power source? The main chamber! Okay. He points to this now open central console. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Jump Five, in there. 10, 15, basically. Very carefully. Okay. Very carefully. <laughs> So first, as you reach it and you start pulling out the star, you can see that in the very center of the chamber there is a circular hole that you kind of slide open and there is a chamber that sets in with a very similar lattice um, and it looks like you have to take the diamond out and place that inside the command console. Okay. Oh, so it's so not like a slot for the actual Not capsule. for the container. The container <laughs> yeah, is kind of holding saying. the diamond. But it looks very similar. You kind of and the smoke begins trailing out of the tube and you can feel this power emanating from it. it you reach your hand in. To put it into the thing, I need you to make a sleight of hand check <gasps> because it's very delicate how it's it's based in. Good luck! You're a rogue though, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh my god. This is like, you're almost, it's almost like the reverse like of a pickpocket. Like, like you're Uriah's using hands and it's tiny really hands. hands. Oh, I was really mean with that. Oh no. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 15. 
That is just... Oh, oh. God! <laughs> Delicately, with your hands trembling, <laughs> sensing this large creature, and you can hear the attendant kind of turns like, stay away from the main console. And you delicately place it on, and then as the lattice work wraps itself around the diamond, it pulls it into the forge itself, and the chamber shuts shut. shut. Um, yeah, you've completely, you've successfully placed it in, but you can see the attendant is Ooh. about to come towards you, okay. and this dark lightning is crackling up and down the attendant. And you can begin to see that as the lightning gets closer to the console, yeah. the get console away, almost away. begins reacting to it. Oh. Get away. Lucius. You are currently invisible. I am. The dispel was just a pulse. I don't sense any lingering. No. It's, it, 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 it dispelled any active spells in the area. Once. I'm going to cast the Luscious Light again. Okay. Because uh, it seemed to put her in her tracks before. So okay. it's going to be right so on pff, there. Right on top of there. Great. You still get Dunkermancy, so what's that, seven points again? Yes. Yeah, great. Um, so you kind of summon again this sphere of light encapsulates all around her. <laughs> Oculatory systems are down. And it seems to stumble around for a second. You're not sure how much time that's bought you. Uh, anything else? Um, I'm still. Am I still flying? Yeah, hovering. I'm gonna head. You're back at the very top of the room, almost towards the goblins. Okay, so you can basically get to pretty kind much of where like around the corner of the wall, so I can see what's going on. Yep, right there. Yep. Cool. That your turn? Yes. Nova. The goblins at the moment have no orders, so they're just yeah. cheering. Oh. Nova. Isaac, I'm ready when you are! If I hit the right buttons, that is! Uh, Vezik is like, like, he's kind of mid-conversation, but he's like, You! The smaller lever! On her command! Like, you're next to it, you're both kind of next to it, you can see these levers. Um, you, Nova, can ready an action that when Ayla pulls it, you pull the same switch, basically. You can see the same sort of twist and pull device that seemingly is the activation mm -hmm. switch. Okay, yeah, um, I'll, I'll shout to Ayla to, yeah. to it works count out, down. The thing is, your initiative has worked out incredible because Ayla is literally straight after you. So it goes to you. Oh, oh, so nice. with that, you kind of look at each other across the room. Well, I'm still invisible. <laughs> well, you yeah. kind of look over to where... That's true, you're going to have I'm to I'm going to go signal. on your count, Nova. Either that or drop your spell because I can't I'll drop see. The spell. Okay, so you then, drop the invisibility yeah. and then you look at each other. Yeah. You kind of clock eyes. Two, three. <laughs> As you kind of flick it, there is a clap of thunder. You're all knocked to the ground, not Ooh. prone, everybody. Um, as you just fall to the ground. <laughs> do we have to do it, it to don't every single? Have okay. To. But, but oh my God. sure, they're doing it. Um, then there is this kind of hum. Araya, you're kind of blown back as this pulse from the central chamber, as blue light scores up the lines through the gaps of the stone into the ceiling and flows out. The console in front of Unova lights up, the manual override begins lighting up as well, and you watch as whatever dark lightning was around the attendant, oh, and you just watch as it powers down, and it powers back up, but now its eyes are blue and the lightning is gone. Greetings, worshippers of Valena. I am the attendant. Can I? Mm, it's not my go. <laughs> it's not your go. Uh, um, it would technically be Pir Piri's go at this point, and until anybody does anything in initiative. Uh, we'd like to use the forge, for, uh, attendant. Of course. That is why the forge was built. For attendants, for followers of Elena, to, in to enjoy their craft. How may I assist you? Uh, I think it we're going to It has been guys. some time since my systems have been fully online. Uh, as this is all happening... Oh, Bezik. <laughs> Can I get up? Little... So you are getting up, so everybody starts getting up. Oh yeah, up. I think yeah. Uh, I get up as well on my turn. Bezik. You pick this up, you've done this. Yeah, you pick, it up. You pick them all up. Vezik gestures behind him. Mm and you see two of the goblins, the two remaining goblins that he had, have basically dragged uh, Sentry's body. Wait, no, we didn't have Sentry's body here. No, you didn't. It was left outside with Scaldi. 
Oh, Wait, what? what? And Vezik points the cannon down at the body of Sentry. Here we go. <sighs> we had a deal, Vezik. Yes, we did. I know. Please understand, this is nothing personal. Simply, I'm concerned that restoring this Guardian's life force will drain the Forge of too much of its power. I'm invisible. Is there something wrong? Can I no longer offer any assistance? We'll... in a second, <laughs> attendant. Very well. I will wait six seconds. I'm invisible, right? You are currently still invisible. I actually know the spell drops, so you're both visible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And also it's very simple. Too. I'm going to do what I require first. The then, yeah. what if there is enough power left? Then you may have your friend back. Can I cast Hypnotic Pattern, the 30-foot cube, on that area? On Vezic, basically. And the, two and the two goblins? Yeah, you can. What do I do? It's a wisdom saving throw. Two sevens and a one. Oh! Wow. Vezic, just his eyes glaze over as this swirling mass of colors evaporates around him. Can I take, can I grab the cannon out of his hand? Yeah, you just kind of rip it out. It kind of pulls it away from the backpack, but he's just stood there like, that was my final he's, third. They're charmed, thought. right? They're charmed. Okay, so he's kind of like, what amazing colors. <laughs> I've never seen anything as beautiful. And I will take Sentry's body and get it away. Yeah, you just pull it away from, from the goblins. From them and carry it further away as well. Smeek follows you, put her but on the, the other forge. goblins stay where they are. Put her on the forge, quick. I'll put her on the forge. You place her on the forge. Do you require assistance restoring the Guardian's energy source? Yes, yeah. Attendant, please, bring her back to life, quick. Of course, it will take some time. We've got a minute with this charm. Uh, can I run Is over? Is there something wrong? Attendant, these goblins have ill intentions with your power. She kind of looks at you for a moment. Hmm. I will remove them temporarily. Is there one in particular? Uh, the Vezik, that one. <laughs> She kind of looks in for the first time seeing Vezik properly. This one appears to be wearing armor and weapons of Kalastarbane. He will be removed immediately. She raises up her hand and Vezik is lifted off the ground and she basically throws him into a chute in the ceiling and he just vanishes. <laughs> How? Please don't harm the other goblins, they're... They're These under appear his to be affected by some sort of malady. I will not affect them if you require it. Can you cleanse them? Mm. The madness has become too far. My arts are in craft, not in healing. The Maiden's Forge would be more likely to assist you with this problem. Although I am no longer connected to my sister sites. Oh, we can work on that. Perhaps. With regards to your, with regards to this guardian, and she kind of cocks her head, she makes her way to the center, looks down at it, and then you see her eyes rapidly flash. Sentry, unit, assigned to Solven, prototype. Very well. I will assist repairing this unit. Rotate it has been marked for special operations. Can you tell us more about that? She regards you for a moment. There is not any classifications or security protocols as to why I cannot. Yes, this unit was originally signed as a protector for the Solvin Royal Line. However, since within the last 100 years, it has received a new priority mission to seek out the Prime and take control of the Prime Matrix. Take control of it? You're writing this down, right, Kim? Yeah. I don't okay. know. In red form. <laughs> the priority task has been assigned by the Prime itself. Do you know where the Prime is? The Prime is located in Solvin, in the, in the mines of Volcanos, in a secret research facility deep beneath the ocean. The mine of Volcanos in the blah blah what? Is there anything else you can tell us about how we can get her there? I'm afraid that my geological understanding has shifted significantly. I detect that there have been incredible seismic and uh, Teutonic shifts in the planet's systems. I'm afraid that my navigational data is no longer operational. Do you know where the City of Glass is? It does not register in my database. I am sorry. Probably a uh, slang term for it or something, or, or a code name. Uh, we have, <laughs> we have another fallen friend. Can you help? Is the fallen friend a guardian? 
He guarded us. He's an Arakocra. I'm afraid that I do not know what an Arakocra is. However, I can tell you that only, uh, only senti unsentient life forms, such as guardians, can be restored to life here. I do not have the abilities to restore life to the living. I'm sorry. Do you also have the power to fix Peri's device? I have a, um, a javelin. How much hammer. power do you have? Restoring the Guardian will, consider, will consume considerable amounts of my power, and it will take some time for it to recharge. However, I am more than capable of fixing your device, and if you have something regarding your magical weaponry, I am more than happy to comply. That should not tax my systems too much. But I will not be able to restore a Guardian to life for some time. Please focus on Sentry. Of course. I can tell that her outward systems and her armor have also been badly damaged through combat. Would you like me to upgrade them? Yes. yes. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Sorry, no choice. You will upgrade? Need... <laughs> you, will... you will need to leave the central area. I will need to close the forge again. How long uh, will this take? Perhaps a few hours. I would recommend that you take some rest if you can. It will approximately take 9.3 hours. And what about okay. the uh, goblin you took away? How long has he gone for? He has been. He will be held for processing. If he has information regarding the remnant and the, well, sorry, the court of shadows, we will. This will be passed to Valena. Can you share that information with us as well? Of course. Can you keep him for maybe a day? He is an enemy of Varroas. I will keep him as long as it is necessary until I receive orders from Valena. I like her, she's cool. But I, guys, we, I, I'm worried about Scaldi. Yes. I'm worried about Scaldi. Yes, yes, we should go we check immediately. Check. What's, I've forgotten this goblin's name. Bezik. Bezik. No. Smeek. 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 <laughs> we are your Smeek. leaders now. Not his head. Do you understand <laughs> me? <laughs> I can't speak goblin. Attendant, can you speak goblin? Just a query. Goblin. Race, primarily Starbane's forces. Language, basic. I believe that I can replicate it, yes. Can you tell them that... Would you like me basic to speak directly to their minds? Yes, can you, well, can... Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth. <laughs> the, uh, Rihanna's just getting too excited. I think it's going to scare them. <laughs> the, the, the yeah, that's true. Yeah. Can you tell them that Vesic has instructed that we are in charge now? I'm afraid that I cannot cause any deception. Uh, Ailey, you're already its boss. I just want to... Just whack them if they get out of the way. Come on, let's get this done. Zap them. Yes, hey, we continue. Need to... I'm just saying there's a force of goblins out there, and if we can say we're... In... No, that... There's not. You, we can you've either had... Or they they've either, they've oh, okay. either died oh, in, yeah. in battle with you, or they are now in this room. It's these there was only 12 oh. goblins. Vesic had about I 12 goblins. I thought there goblins. were more than that. No, no, no. no these no. four are mine now. Yeah. Okay. Attendant, should I leave the watch here, or we will need to we will need to come to that after, after I restore the guardian. Fine. Okay. Well, let's go uh, check on Scaldi and uh... the forge. It will take me some time to clear out the main paths leading towards the entrance. Do you have a way of accessing this chamber again? Do we have a way? This yeah, the way you came in. in. Yeah, you, cause you you have to go back through that empty chamber yeah. room, but because you can see that there is another route leading out of this building, but oh, it's all okay. collapsed in. No, we 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 can get in and out. The main entrance Very well. is blocked. But return we've got return in approximately nine hours. Nine okay. hours. Yes. One final question. I, sorry, you only just come awake again. <laughs> How rude of us. Um, are you aware of dark energy that corrupted you prior to your awakening? I am, yes. This energy system, I am unfamiliar with it, but it has many various traits to Starbane's weapons. I believe that in the absence of the Forge's power, that since Velena has withdrawn into the Halls of Infinite Resplendence, that I use the, energy, the dark energy source as a backup system, unwillingly. So you created it? The dark energy, no. That has come from nearby storms originating approximately 20 miles from this location. Can it be stopped? I am, unf I am unsure. I am sorry. Okay. My systems are limited to what I can do here in the forge. Do you know what creates it? I am unfamiliar. It has an unusual weapon signature based purely on my experience with Starbane weapons. It appears to match that of nature. Do you know if the power that thing generates is the same as the thing that's currently in the forge? 
She kind of scans for a moment. Different energy source. The source that you've used to reignite the forge appears to be a pure matter, star matter. The dark energy source comes from something different. Let's is, go check on Skeldy. Yeah. Is Starbane's can... energy similar to what's in his watch? The watch on the Fire Ganassi's wrist? Yeah. No. This appears to be made by Erosian technology. Okay, carry on. Bye. That's a tough cookie. Um, Very well. If you will all excuse me, and then as you guys have kind of step out, the Guardian steps back and you watch as the whole thing... Oh, it encases itself And Sentry's body is kind of taken into the middle of it with it. Cool. Nice. And yeah, you, the whole cube just seals up with Sentry's body kind of laying on the forge in the, in the middle. Does anything happen with like the rest of the room as well? Like You see this pulse of power, these blue lines like... <laughs> and the attendant appears to just stand back and close her eyes. Okay. Uh, and something begins happening in the cube. We should probably get out you of here just like, in case. <laughs> yeah, let's go find Skaldi and make sure she's okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys make your way back outside with the goblins in tow. You find the wagon has been pulled to the side. Skaldi is unconscious. Looks like she was maybe taken by surprise, kind of like knocked out. Um, Where's Quill's body? Quill's body is in the back. Seems to have been undisturbed. Is Scorb okay? Scorb is tied up. You can see that like big oh. ropes have been tied around his claws. Oh, boy. Um, and he's kind of like shuffling around. Poor well, boy. Nice. Nice. I'm going to untie him with some worms. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can untie him. <laughs> I guess um, you can try and wake up, Scarlet. What do you guys do? Yeah, you guys want to wake up? Are you going to do anything? Do you want to take a long rest or do you want to like chill? Got nine hours to kill. 9.3. Like yeah. It's yeah. probably quite late as well because you were traveling mm. most of the day. Yeah. This is probably night time when you head outside. Yeah. Can we take a long rest in yeah. shifts? Can we like sure. encourage the goblins to go into their weird huts at the beginning? Yeah. Just... They just, they, they just, they seem happily like, mm. like they're not being told to go get themselves killed and they kind of probably go find some food and uh, try... Smeek won't leave your side though. Smeek stays with you. Because I'm four yes. hours trancing and the rest, yeah. I can just kind of docile. Yeah. Can I try and communicate to the goblins that they're free now? Yeah, you can spend that time. Yeah. And then... Make a persuasion check. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'll just got to educate them as to what free And then what's everybody else doing? Because, like, Nova, you'll need eight hours of sleep if you want to take a long rest. I'll do a half. Mine's the same. You'll do a half, so Piri's going to be sleeping. Araya? Um, I'll take a Take a rest. long rest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't seem to be in any immediate danger. Um, the goblins seem very happy with just doing what they were doing, which is, like, throwing sticks around and... You know, maybe trying to kill it, kill themselves with rocks occasionally. I guess um, me and Lucius can switch. Yeah, you can go swap out. Trancing. Nova. No, oh, here we go. Uh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> you lay down. It's been a long day, exhausting day, but there's good news with Sentry's body being repaired. And you drift to sleep. You're not sure how long you've been asleep, but you begin to dream. It's a strange dream. And soon you find yourself in a familiar place, a cavern with a broken gate portal deep beneath the Bright Flame Abbey. Oh. Oh, that place. And you hear a voice. I thought that perhaps I should choose somewhere familiar to speak with you again. And kind of emerging from the portal like he did before, a cool. figure in long, dark armor with a long, oh. dark cape and long, dark hair. Oh, he's so sexy. So <laughs> <laughs> As Callus himself sexy Callus. That kind of dream. <laughs> stands before you. It was Nova, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Vala yes, told me that is your name. Lordship. You do not, you do not believe in my cause. Do not mock me by fake titles. I just, I, I don't know what to call you. Callus would be a start. Okay, Mr. Callus. <laughs> Nur Valor has asked me to inquire to how you are doing. Uh, um, I, uh, I'm fine, yeah. How's Valor? She is well. I am instructing her and teaching her how to control her new powers. They are developing quickly. Is she happy? I have done everything I can to ensure she has every need met. Of course, she is still learning to understand my situation, my crusade. She misses you and your companions. 
that I've said that that is the one thing I cannot grant her. Anything else. She has had gifts, she has had room to train, space for herself. When she wishes to be alone, I leave her alone. I wish to see that she, everything she has, she, she receives. I have been gone far too long from her life. I don't suppose she's asked about a dwarf called Arvul? She has. Is he okay? He is concerned at your sudden disappearance, but there is news spreading. I believe that he does assume many of you are dead. How's your crusade going? I will not be discussing my plans. I just want to know if you've taken over, um, where were we again? Kaylee's Rest. Kaylee, have you taken over Kaylee's Rest already? He smiles and smirks. You think far too small, but then that is not your fault. You are only mortals. I, I kind of been thinking a bit, right? So I've been seeing a lot of technology recently that kind of looks like your technology, but a bit different. Yes. And I was kind of just wondering if people maybe have the wrong idea about you. <laughs> You're very smart, aren't you? Uh, I, mm, not very clever, no. Maybe, mm. I don't know. I, I just try to think about things a lot. And then when I think about things a lot, just sometimes some things stick out a bit more than others. And yeah, just the more we've been traveling around this area and the more I he see the world. He stops you and then looks down. I did not recognize it before. Oh. This, you have made them stronger. Otherwise I would not have noticed. When we first met, it was imperceivable. You carry Tiang Gong, my old friend. I'm glad that you've found their shards. I worried that Tian Gong would be split, for his, their parts scattered across Aromis from my fallen ships. Not that I don't carry many of his parts with me myself. Yeah. But I recognize that power in you. <laughs> you ask if people have the wrong idea of me. Perhaps. But things are never black and white. There is a mission, something I have to accomplish, something that mortals would not truly understand the scope of. Only Siaska did, but her nature, her nature led me to stand against her. Does it have something to do with Hadar? He looks at you and smiles. I said you were quite smart. It does. Hadar is an ancient evil, far greater and far worse than anything you can imagine. It is the black star that consumes everything from the center of this galaxy, and I have given everything to fight it. Because <clears throat> I've seen a bit of it, and it terrified me. Good. And I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm still a bit confused, so I'm not going to say the words like pledge allegiance. But if I could help, that thing can't be here. Hmm. He nods. We will speak again. Nova Vija? Yeah, oh, you know my family name now. <laughs> I know lots about you and your traveling companions. I have many powerful magics at my disposal. And whilst you do not seem to be much of a threat, Valor cares for you and I am careful to consider all of my options. I will tell you this, your gods are not wrong about me. I came to Aroes to conquer it, to take what its resources it has, to take its people, to put them into my armies, to do everything I can to stop Hadar. Siaska's sacrifice was unexpected and a true loss. <laughs> I will speak with you again. Perhaps Valor would like to speak to you at some point as well. Sadly, I cannot contact either of your elves. This communication will only work between you. Perhaps some others, the Arakokra. Okay, um, could you tell Valor we send our respects? No, not our respects, that's weird. Our regards, that's the word. And um, ask her if she's still practicing her dagger skills, stab, stab, stab. 
Um, I did wonder where her perchant for daggers came from. Yeah, sorry. Um, and tell her sentries back. I will. Goodbye, Nova Vija. And I will consider your offer. And then the dream fades. Thanks for the star. You awake, and you remember that crystal clear. It's not like a regular dream which you half remember or things change. That conversation is imprinted in perfect memory in your mind. Traumatized. That's the eight hour rest over with. Uh, I wake up. Yep. Have a little breakfast maybe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Scaldi comes to, offers her apology. I'm sorry, I, I thought those things were harmless. They brought me food and then the next thing I knew they hit me over the head. We knew they were going to betray us somehow. I didn't expect them to do that, but... Yes, I'm sorry. I would have normally fought them off, but they caught me off guard, so... We were Is everything successful. all right? Yes. Uh, we reactivated the forge. Uh, Vizek has been dealt with. He's okay. now imprisoned, I believe. And Sentry's been repaired as we speak. Upgraded. We should go. We should, you should go to her and be there when she wakes up. We should. We have, like, about an hour left, I'd say. Something like probably that. By the time we set, like... Checked on Scaldi and everything. It's probably yeah. been. Time. The, the attendant told you 9.3 hours, so <laughs> it's not yeah, that long. 1.3 hours left. I don't have my. Wait, I do have my watch. It's broken though, so. <coughs> yes. Don't have the stopwatch app installed. It fell out in the SD card. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, you guys, if you guys have got anything yeah. quick, or you can just go and wait for Sentry, so we can finish the episode with Sentry wake up. Wait for Sentry. Yep. Okay. Nose pressed up against the door. Okay, yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys enter, um, and the attendant is kind of powered on, and you can see that half of the kind of collapsed tunnel, she is repaired, and it is perfect stone she's repaired it with. Wow. It's like she's chiseled away and has created this, like, new hallway leading towards the entrance. Mm. Ah, welcome. Your friend should be reviving soon. The process has been faster than I expected. Excellent. I see you've also been putting the extra power to use to repair the entire forge too. That is simply my work. That does not require power from the forge. Oh, right. Very talented. Thank you. I was built this way by the goddess herself. Can you leave the forge? No, I have no purpose to. Okay. Sentry. Sentry. It's strange. It's almost like you were asleep. But you know you don't sleep and you don't dream. But you begin to feel that stirring as if your mind is awakening. You feel a swell of power within your chest, but this is greater than it was before. You you feel a surge of energy and with that energy comes the flash of memory memory that you had thought was lost. The last sight as the royal family of Solvin, the Astoria line, are crouching, hiding within the remnants of their, their palace as the world around you shakes and trembles and rages. Huge, great waves of water, you can hear them crashing outside the building as the, the stones and roofs themselves begin to collapse. You remember the king looking up, his final commands. But your memory doesn't end like it normally does, it continues. You remember watching the king as he begins scribing a rune upon the ground, uh, a delicate teleportation pattern. Uh, as you hold up, as the, the, the roof begins to collapse, and you, with your muscles tensed and straining, your armor plates being torn off, holding it up so the king finishes the last of the circle, he just looks up. And just before he touches it, the roof breaks away and a great wave strikes through and you're pulled away from the family as they teleport away, whisked away to somewhere you have no idea. Your body thrown into the sea, smashed against rocks and debris as Solvin itself begins to crumble. In the distance, you just see volcanoes a mine of which where many guardians and volcanium, the ore that's used to create many of Solvin's weapon is built, is erupting, lava spilling down it, huge plumes of smoke as the whole world shifts. You are plunged deep into the sea and you sink and are pulled by currents for what feels like days, months, murky blackness all around you until eventually another large blow to the head 
renders you unconscious. And then you wake up and see Quill. Sentry, for the rest of you, as you're waiting, you watch as the large stone cube opens and a large steam erupts. And standing upon the, the forge itself, Sentry, made whole, her armor brand new and even more armor plated than before. You can see brand new armor plating all down her arms, her body, her face plate, any dent or blemish completely gone. Uh, and now her core swells with purple energy. Um, and even little Echo hey. <laughs> floats behind oh. her head. Sentry, you see many familiar faces, some unknown faces um, before you. And I think we're gonna have to wrap it up there. No, we got five minutes. Um, yeah, you see everyone's faces before you as Sentry. Hello. <laughs> I'm just gonna collapse. Just straight up. I think I would just as well. Just too much. <laughs> yeah. So you watch Nova and Lucius just like fall to their knees or they sit on the floor looking up. Uh, the attendant. Uh, I look very different. Yes, Lucius <laughs> looks like a fairy princess. Uh, the attendant, this enormous stone statue of Valena, kind of stands in front and kind of stands in front of you. Her eyes connect and you hear in your mind, you hear a, are you feeling well, Sentry Guardian? Uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very well. Thank Excellent. you. I can report um, that all of your systems are now functioning. Okay. I've also taken the liberty of upgrading your armor pieces to offer better protective services. You will also find that your Echo has been upgraded. It now features a transportation mode. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, can, can, I, can I see it? Of course. I will commit the mental commands to you now. And in your head you hear a series of commands that you know will transform Echo into a vehicle or a <laughs> mount. <laughs> a <laughs> mount. <laughs> what? Yes! Uh, yeah, do you want to activate it now? I would like to, yes, please. Yeah. So you watch as Sentry kind of, you kind of, you kind of hold your chest out, yep. right? So you watch as she kind of flexes her arms, her chest glows, and Echo kind of merges with an energy source that's projected out, and Echo's form twists and rotates and transforms and forms into a metallic elk. This huge Whoa. metallic elk made from metal and wood, just like Sentry is, but with a single gemstone eye, just like Echo. <laughs> As it lands next and kind of raises its head majestically. Um, and you hear in your head uh, from the elk, because you can communicate with it telepathically. Hello, Sentry. I am ready. Uh, it's got a voice. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to get up and throw myself I... at her. Can I I'm gonna go hug up it. to her and yeah. just hand her her axe back and her shield that I've been waiting for You take her. them, and then I think Sentry hugs you from the sounds of <laughs> things. I'm gonna hug everybody. <laughs> like pulls yeah, Ayla in. in. Yeah, all the glitter goes on. Lucius, oh my goodness. Roll. He's just sprinkling glitter oh all over. Oh so good to see the Sentry. Lucius, you look very different. <laughs> oh yeah, so oh, no. getting glitter what's, all over you. Uh, what's, what's, what's happened? I'm so sorry, Sentry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's it's no, okay, no, no, I'm no better. Man. We did it. We worked so hard to bring you back. I'm so sorry. I love you. It's, it's okay. Where's Quill? Oh. When? That's a good place to win. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the point we end where with where's Quill, and then Ooh. that's where we're gonna end Straight this in week. There, isn't you? Straight Straight in. In. <laughs> the Sentry needs a birdie boy. Well, it's also Damn. because it's the fresh memory, yeah. right? Of like yeah. he was the Quill's first person there. you he's saw, like, not there, and he's not there. Wow, Chief She's back. She's <laughs> back. One down. It's been a long one ten go. weeks. In a long ten weeks. Ten weeks. Yeah. Well, it's been I was pretty happy with that, that, that whole was episode. Amazing. That was a great, great episode. That great combat. Incredible. And the map is fantastic. That was such a job. Cool. Well done. Thanks, guys. Glad you liked it. And a little a little sprinkle of callus too. Hey. Oh. Well, it might be that I've uh, yeah I found out that there's some things that callus can do, and there's reasons that he might want to reach out and speak to you guys. Stupid sexy. Mm. Well, there you go. Stupid sexy killer. Right. I'm gonna read some donos. Well, we'll pass it around, but I'll rattle through a few. Cool. Ten dollars from Oliver Renve. No message. Thank you very much. Frank the NPC donated. Uh, episode prediction. The Goblin Prince falls in love with a special little fairy. Sentry watching the group from afar off from the afterlife starts to question if coming back is worth dealing with Fairy Lucius. <laughs> and the forge is conquered. Go sloths. Thank we you very much, Frank. Sloths. Uh, all the money there. Sukinia 
uh, donated. Hey, I've been watching since the very beginning. This is only the second or third time I've been able to catch you all live. Love you all and keep up the amazing content. Thank you very much. Azul Aura uh, donated in a Skyrim style voice. High Roars is the best medicine for being ill. Thank you guys for always brightening up the bad days and making my weekend. Keep being awesome and you'll, visit, you'll get it visit the Jarl of Skyrim. <laughs> you didn't slip into Russian, so you're not no, quite... Yeah, no. <laughs> Katie? Um, half Hundo from JK Quinn, thank, thank you. you very much. I need to say thank you so much. You guys have kept me sane this last week after I was dumped suddenly after a six-year relationship. Ah! No. Here is some of the money I was saving for her birthday. The rest will be spent on cool clothes and getting into D&D. That sounds like a good thank way you. of spending that it. That sounds, yes. yeah. yeah. That's a great way to... So sorry to hear that. Um, Lutlar has said, donating around $30 in Danish, the amount is because it's my 30th birthday. <laughs> oh, nice. 30th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, Daft Day 41, I seem to think this with most of Mark's NPCs, but can the gang keep Smeek the Undying? <laughs> yes. The Undying. Well, I mean, yeah. it's close. Just getting this out of the way early, nothing will go wrong. Smeek survives, everything is fine. He did. He did. He did. He did, yeah. He did. Um, he did. New Elix. Hey, High Rollers, another episode of Meanwhile in Savona for you this week. Starbane is haunted by a debt which cannot be repaid as a group of battle-worn librarians hound him for his centuries of <laughs> due book fees. Sounds good. Interesting. And a half hundo from Damn. Pepperfruit Pesto. Thank you so much. Um, love from the podcast listeners. Ah. Enjoy summer, y'all. Hey. Hey. Very excited. Good time go, to pass go. it over to Tommy. There is a hundo! Hundo! hundo. hundo. From Zabith. Uwo, what's this? Watch out for that snacky wackies. Uwo. Uwo. Thank you very much. Uh, three dollars from Nightjar. Inspiration for all. No, inspiration. 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 Sorry, I read it correctly. Yeah, where is um, oh, the coin? Thank you very much, Nightjar. Um, <laughs> and another one from Nightjar. Inciparation. Wow, inspiration revoked. How dare you let our sweet Smeek die? He's back. It's fine. We get okay. our inspiration back. There'll probably be another one. <laughs> uh, five dollars. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Um, normally don't get to watch live thanks to time zones, but decided to treat myself on my birthday. 100% worth it from Trot's NordVPN pitch alone. Uh, but the episode itself hasn't disappointed either. Just want to say, keep up the great work, guys. Thank you, Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, happy birthday. Kim. Uh, there you go. Kim. Nightjar is back. God damn it. Just keep the bloody inspiration because I can't donate a fourth time when Smeek dies again. <laughs> uh, we got a, another donation from New Elix. Another cheeky bonus donation because I've been working night shift next weekend and we'll miss live. We're not. Uh, we want to say. Just want to say you all really reignited my interest in RPGs. Many thanks. Aww, and guess thanks. what? We're not here next week. We're not here week. next week. Larping. You don't miss. Um, we larping. But super quickly, the donations continue in some form because I have to read out. We haven't finished, though, have we? Yeah. Have we finished? Yeah, we've yeah. finished. But oh, okay. Tom's gonna do a new thing, apparently. A new thing, apparently. <laughs> what do you mean, new thing, apparently? It's Patreon. Sure. Okay. Are we Go not doing it. that? Go no, you it. can do that. All right, well, I'm doing it. So I'm gonna read out every d patron. This is gonna become quickly. We can't keep doing this. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not going to do every, oh, okay. every one every week. It's just crashed. Um, I'm going to do what? all the new ones from the previous. Okay. So on patreon.com slash high rollers, we have to thank Cool Kit in 97, Zafith, Smilesy, New Dude, Douglas Scott Beers, Alex Carbster, Alexander Blow, Rick Akoa, Hannah Clara Mills, Morgan Dark, Nicola Thompson, Kerr Turk, Wolfie Kid, Linnea Schollander, uh, Dinos and Tiaras, Ryan Patrick Mason, Ian Lewis, Zachary Prin, Ruisi Kunitomo, uh, I don't know if they did that right. Suzanne Johnson, James Fang, Richard Brown, Alex, Alyssa Vanderbeek, April C, James Eyre, Will Van Fechtman, Kelly Myers, Duart McPhail, sorry, um, <laughs> Andrew Lorenz, Varys, David Gibb, Matthias Fuchs, uh, Inflim, NH Hafner, Anna MC, uh. Jonas Recall, Jay Van Der Speck, Harry Haston Duggan, Lyrian Sins, uh, Elizabeth Peters, Sebastian Wasek, and Scourgy. Scourgy, what's we point? Well, All well, of those new Patreons. Huh? We're missing donations. Are we missing some yeah, donations? The donation readers all brockhead. Right that, but yeah, there's Twitch chat is saying like, I don't know, and my message isn't yeah. there. I'm sorry, guys. We can really only oh, read it when the donation cool. thing's up. Sid, Sid might be looking at it right now, but I don't know if there's this. That's all the readers show. So unfortunately, guys, I'm super sorry if your donation wasn't read out. Um, we'll try and let Akwise know and see if he can look into why that that wasn't showing. It up. happens. Yeah, it happens sometimes. APR, but I know that that sucks. Um, but we are very grateful for any donation you did send. Yeah. Um, Patreon, we'll and Patreon, and anyone who buys merch, and just anyone who watches, and all the things! Yeah, thank um, you for Hope you enjoyed us. it. As we mentioned, there is no new episode next week, uh, because some of us are going to be away LARPing. Lerp. So, uh, no episode next week, but we'll be back the week after. And we'll be back the week after with a brand new potential with the miniseries as well. Yes. I believe yes. that's starting oh, next week. That was the one thing I start at the, start at the beginning of this episode. 
is we've got a brand new mini-series, The Lightfall Descent, starting not next week, the week after. Yes. We'll do a Twitter thing, oh. but that's starting yep. soon. So Rhiannon's looking at sentries. She's looking at sentries. be on page. Yep. And clearing the death save. Yep. Ah, <laughs> she's yeah, yeah. Also looking at her brand new higher AC as well. Oh man. Ooh. Well, we'll see that in two weeks' time for the next episode of oh, Aurora. Oh, see you later, guys. Thanks Good for joining us. Bye. Bye. Thank you.